Hello friends, hello, great to see you, welcome everyone, uh, yo, Twitch folks, let me know if you, uh, have any issues with, uh, uh, stream stability, because for whatever reason, it's, it's telling me over here that, uh, my average stream bitrate is too high, too high, and that's weird because it's exactly the same as it normally is, and I haven't changed anything, so... Uh, maybe Twitch is just wild, and it's entirely possible. But just let me know if there's any issues. Uh, same goes for the YouTube folks, I suppose, but it's specifically giving me the warning on Twitch. Uh, speaking of which, hello, Twitch folks, and YouTube folks, and future VOD viewers. It's wonderful to have you all here now, or in the future. <laughs> this is another multi-stream, and it's wonderful to, to see folks on both platforms hanging out, hanging out. Uh, and it's wonderful just to, just to be here, just to see you all. If we jump on over to the Twitch chat, we've got, uh, as far as I can tell, a very clear set of first, second, and third place uh, chatters today. Coming in first, from what I can see, is, is it Jolt? Is it Jolt says, I'm always too early for these. Well, too early is just a matter of opinion. Maybe you were just early enough. It looks to me like you were just early enough to be certified first. So that's pretty rad. Congratulations. Uh, coming in second is Pearls saying, not that early. <laughs> Pearls, as we know, one of the reigning champions of uh, Certified First in the Twitch chat. So, uh, tonight, Certified Second. Congratulations, Pearls. And coming in third, Bruce. Bruce Buchner. Right on time. Perfectly punctual. 9 p.m. Pacific start time. <laughs> it's on time. On, like, I don't think I've started at 9 p.m. Pacific for, I don't even know when the last time was, but that's okay. Uh, Bruce knows what time I'm supposed to be starting. <laughs> One day, I will live up to Bruce's expectations. Uh, speaking of which, it's a very special day for Bruce. It's Bruce's birthday today, and uh, we will sing. Oops. Just turn up the volume here casually, don't mind me. Uh, I've been given permission to lead all of us in a, a big old happy birthday for Bruce, but I'm going to wait a few minutes for that, just wait for a few more people to, to, to arrive here, trickle on in, because we're just getting started, but uh, a happy birthday, Bruce, an early happy birthday, well, timely, you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, over on the YouTube chat, Certified First goes to Ashy G, Ashy G, congratulations. I see there's a little bit of uncertainty there between Ashy and Reds, but according to what I can see, it looks like Ashy is certified first, Reds is certified second, and Glug certified third. Well claimed. Congratulations to our YouTube chatters as well with that podium finish. <laughs> yeah, Chris, it's live stream time. Good to see you. Tarot Destroyer, welcome on in. And uh, food. About to fall asleep, says food. Good night. Good night, food. Thanks for being here. Sleep well. Ah, the wonderful, uh, not really that soothing, actually, you know, Skyrim main theme. It's a pretty hype main theme, but I associate it with these streams. Uh, so to me, it's cozy and nostalgic, maybe for you as well. Uh, and also we had a couple of subs over here. Wow. At, at the very moment I say it. Another one from one Thorek three two nine Thorek. <laughs> Every time I see these numbers, they seem less and less real. Uh, sixty five months. Thorek has been here for pretty much the entire life of this uh, Twitch channel. So, uh, Thorek, thanks for still being here. Thanks for chilling with us. Uh, thanks for coming on in for month number sixty five. That's probably worth tapping on a potato. I would say, probably, probably. 
well worth celebrating. Uh, but before Thor came on in as well, we had uh, resub from Lenate. Lenate, welcome back with the five month resub with Prime no less. Thank you for supporting and continuing to support this community and what we do here uh, by using your Prime sub. I appreciate it a lot. And uh, I hope you enjoy your subscription benefits. And Lonely Light as well. Lonely Light. It's great to see you. I'm glad you can make it out, my friend. Uh, Lonely Light with that 11 month resub. So close. So close to that full year. Gosh, where's the time go? But Lonely Light is really awesome to see you. I'm glad you could make it out tonight. Lonely Light says, hello, all you beautiful people. And hello to you too, Nick. Wait, so I'm playing. I'm not one of the beautiful people. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just messing with you. Uh, I hope everyone is well. I'm, I'm well. Thank you. Thank you very much, Lonely Light. I'm tired. I'll be honest with you all. I'm very tired. I, uh, because this is all I talk about these days, uh, it is, of course, uh, you know, Wedding Nick, Wedding Planner Nick, it's me. Um, this weekend was my bachelor party. So, uh, yeah, it was pretty low key, honestly, but, uh, I still didn't get a whole lot of sleep, and I drank a fair bit of beer, more than I normally do these days, and I ate a lot of garbage food, so, uh, you know, it was fantastic, it was, it was a lot of fun, <laughs> but, uh, but I am pretty tired, so, uh, but I was not gonna miss this stream, uh, not for nothing, so, uh, I'm here. And we are chilling. Um, over on YouTube, King Blocked says, "Hey Nick, hope you have a fun. Uh, hope you have fun. Sorry, reading apparently difficult. And I look forward to getting good rest, like in the previous Skyrim stream. King Blocked, I hope you have a great sleep. A great sleep. Thanks for chilling. Thanks for lurking there. Good to see you back. Oh, and hi Jack. Hey yeah." Yeah, Outlaws is looking fantastic, isn't it? Star Wars Outlaws. I'm quite excited about it. I'm really looking forward to it. It's still probably my number one uh, most anticipated game of the year. <laughs> if we partied while well, we partied. Okay, guys. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what we did. We had a LAN party. Okay. <laughs> we had a LAN party like it was 2005. All right. And uh, we all got all the, all the boys together <laughs> you know, in a room. Uh, and we had, uh, you know, our PCs, uh, or we, we actually went over to, uh, Sarah's brother's place. He's one of my groomsmen and he lives on a couple of, well, an hour and a half uh, away from here. So, and, uh, he's also in IT. So, uh, he set up pretty much like the perfect land scenario for us. Uh, you know, he had... Uh, extra PCs and monitors, and we had the network all set up, and, uh, yeah, and we, we restricted ourselves to games of that era, so we were, you know, like, authentic 2005-ish LAN party. Yeah, LAN parties were fun, weren't they, Tactrix? Sargon, you got some good memories of LAN parties. Yeah, they're a lost thing, I don't think anyone does that anymore. <laughs> there was something to it back in the day, it was a lot of fun. Uh, just getting together in a room with a bunch of your friends, bringing your PCs in, you know, troubleshooting all the network issues and game installation problems, but eventually, you know, all jumping on deathmatch something or other together and just, just having a blast, you know, uh, it's good times. It was a lot of fun. It was very, very nostalgic. <laughs> I think everyone had a good time, so... Lots of, uh, yeah, beer, pizza, wings, not beer, pizza, but beer and pizza and wings. Uh, and, uh, not a whole, not a whole lot of sleep, but that's, that's how we used to do it. So I was proud, proud of my, my boys for <laughs> staying up late <laughs> and playing video games with me. Cause you know, so many of them are like responsible adults now with like jobs and, you know, not on whatever schedule they please anymore so it was a bit of a push to to uh 
you know, to do the, the late night gaming, but I think we all had a great time. Uh, also over on Twitch, so many folks on out here. Stoner Shane, great to see you. Go to Vic, awesome to have you here. And boy, actual hello. Lenate, wonderful to see you. How are you? How are you, Lenate? Um, Norgrill, welcome on in. Buttspot, Norgrill says let's go stream time. Buttspot says but go stream time. But go. Hey, it's Eyelash Hippo. Eyelash, welcome on in. Eyelash, uh, of course, of many different uh, handles over the years, but has been here for so very long. A really long time. <laughs> and I always love him. I always love seeing Eyelash here. Um, also, keeping a watch over you all. A watchful eye with that uh, moderator sword there. So you better behave. Uh, Mr. Sky, great to see you. Sky. Naga, howdy howdy. Great to see you too. How are you doing tonight, Naga? Uh, Pearls has redeemed a dad joke. Pearls, let's do that dad joke for you right now before I forget about it for too long. And then you'll wind up waiting an hour and that's no good. That's no good. Gotta try and... Try and be better about that. Um, God, some of these are so bad. <laughs> these are so bad. Uh, let's see. Oh, we are blessed by the scamp. A wonderful scampening to you all. Glad we are official now. Uh, hmm. Yeah, some of these are really bad. I always try and find one that's like okay at least oh these are the groaners do we want the groaners sick dad jokes <laughs> what do we mean sick as in like yeah okay these are maybe a little too so <laughs> these are pretty dark uh <laughs> some of these are like I don't know, I feel like I'm having a hard time finding decent dad jokes these days. <sighs> I mean, there's infinite dad jokes, but... I don't... Oh my god, okay. Where do pirates get their hooks? You know, their, their hook hands. Where do pirates get their hooks? Second-hand stores. Second-hand stores. <sighs> <sighs> All right, that's that. Yep. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> that's what we got for now. Palmer, thank you for the hundred bits. That's really kind of you. Palmer with the hundred bitty cheer. Hello, how are you doing? Palmer, it's great to see you. It's great to have you out. As always, as always. Um, and thank you so much for the super kind cheer. Hey, it puts your cheer up at the top of chat now, just like it does over on YouTube with the super chats. That's new, right? I don't think I've seen that before. It's kind of fun. Um, all right, uh, jumping back up in the chat because, you know, super behind as usual. Artractive, great to see you. Welcome on in. Always puts a smile on my face seeing you here. How are you doing, Attractive? How was your weekend? Um, old Coffee Addict, welcome. Great to see you too. Good evening, good evening. Stoner Shen on a seven stream streak. That's pretty solid. Congrats on that. Sargon, welcome, welcome. Uh, so far, so good with the stream stability. Okay, thank you, Eyelash, for that feedback. Uh, Mr. QCPA, welcome. Great to see you here. Sorry it took me a minute to get to your chat there, but uh, it is good to have you with us. Welcome on in. Yo, Indy, Indy363, it has been a while. It's been a hot minute. How you doing? Indy says, 
gotta be honest, you just scared the crap out of me. I forgot I had a tab open on Twitch, and I was like, why am I hearing whispering in my head? I've done that before, too, <laughs> where I forgot I had an ASMR stream opened, and it was like, for a moment, it's just that, like, what? <laughs> Nevi with the beautiful spin tato, uh avalanche there. Good to see you, Evie. Evie? I don't know. I'm tired. That's my excuse. Good to see you, Nevi. Uh, Angel18, hello, welcome. Uh, Angel18 says, hey Nick, just sent an email, can't wait for you to get back to me. Yo, I did get your email. I, I did get your email, and I will reply. I was just, I was, uh, I, you maybe just heard me say I was away at a bachelor's thing this weekend, so. Busy weekend, but I did see it. And I'll, I'll get back to you. I think we can hopefully do something, figure something out. That'd be awesome. Uh, but it's good to see you here. Welcome on in. Um, everybody already with the happy birthdays for Bruce. Maybe it's time that we sing happy birthday to Bruce. Maybe it's that time. Should we do that? I think we should. Uh, Jack says that sounds like a Nick bachelor party it was I mean like I chose it that's what I wanted to do because that crew you know like my groomsmen uh, I've been friends with all of them forever like many of them uh, since you know elementary school or at least middle school um, uh, I guess I met Sarah's brother when I was in high school but still like a long long time and uh and yeah, that's what we used to do together back in the day, right? Uh, for, you know, birthdays and whatever, we'd do land parties. So, and we just don't often have the opportunity to do something like that these days because we're just, we're busy and boring and old and lame now. So, uh, you know, <laughs> it, we, it's nice to take the opportunity when we have it. Uh, Gorog, welcome in. Good to see you. Stream, stream, we betcha. Bots, bots says butt stream. No. <laughs> we, do not, we, do, we do not speak of the butt stream. I, I was going to say something, but I won't. I'm not even going to. Just forget about it. No, we forget about the butt stream. Ryan Ward, thank you for the uh, sub over on YouTube. Don't know if you're watching live right now, but if so, uh, welcome. I appreciate the subscription. Uh, Himbo IRL. Welcome. Thank you for the follow on Twitch. Please make yourself at home. Uh, I actually see Himbo IRL in the chat here. Uh, I'm going to jump ahead a second and see what they said. Uh, I've been falling asleep to your video since 2014. Wow. That's extremely, extremely OG. That's a decade ago. <laughs> but never seen a stream. Yo, Himbo, it's great to see you here finally then. Just wanted to say thank you for all those nights. I could not keep my eyes closed. Uh, hey, it's my pleasure. I really, uh, I hope that, you know, it's helped over the years. Uh, thanks for being here for all these years. Uh, it's always incredible to me, uh, you know, when I hear about folks like yourself who have been, you know, uh, watching my stuff for so very long. Uh, and it means a lot to me. It really, really does. It's really cool to see you here, Himbo. Can we get a warm stream welcome for Himbo IRL, y'all? Uh, just welcome them on in. Um, and <laughs> Himbo coming on in with that subscription. That's really, really kind. Uh, Himbo, thank you for jumping right on in there. Here for your first time. Hitting that follow and then hitting that sub around these parts on these streams. We have a special tradition as when we celebrate we tap on this potato because well it's a very long story actually it's also not a real potato i feel like i need to put that up front it's a squishy potato but <laughs> our subscribers around here are potato pals all right our spud butts so you're now a spud butt or a tater tot if you prefer welcome on in <laughs> welcome to the spud buds in both Thanks for joining, and I do hope that you enjoy your subscription benefits, including the very popular spinning potato that you see Sargon uh, demonstrating there, the static, uh, very high-resolution potato that Indy is showing there. 
uh, all kinds of amazing potatoes. Uh, welcome, welcome. Goodness me. Um, why would you quote the butt stream, eyelash? Why would you do that? Celtic Cobra, welcome, welcome. I'm doing great, thanks. Uh, Blue Dragon Knight says, It has certainly been a few years since I last got to be here. But alas, it is 7 a.m. in Germany again, and I can't sleep, so here I am. I'm sorry that you're having trouble with the sleeping, but Blue Dragon Knight, fantastic to see you here. Welcome on in after an age away. Uh, you know, things might be a little bit different than you remember them, but mostly the same. We now have a scamp that pops up every once in a while. You probably just saw him and, and heard him. It's kind of unfortunate, actually, but but mostly everything else is about the same. We're still here. I'm still on the Skyrim main menu. I've been streaming on the Skyrim main menu this whole time. I don't know how to escape. Help me. <laughs> uh, Chris Wilson says, that sounds like a dream with that LAN party. It was really good fun. It was fantastic. We had a great time. Grizzly, welcome. Allison Rowdy, you just started playing Skyrim again today. What coincidental timing. I hope you are enjoying getting back into it. What kind of character are you playing? Do you have a preferred playstyle? Um, oh yeah, sometimes the scamp gets murdered as well. Uh, that's just all part and parcel, you know? Um, Patrick says, good middle of the night. I hope you get some rest. Um, Lonely Light, I know you didn't mean it that way. I know. <laughs> uh, Tactrix, uh, oh yes, missing the land parties. Yeah, I know. It's just, it's a, you know, it's, yeah, no one really does it anymore. Uh, you know, they are a pain in the butt. Like, if, if you are the kind of person that even has a desktop PC these days, a gaming rig, and many people aren't anymore, uh, you know, having to pack up your whole setup and like move it physically to someone else's place it is a real pain in the butt when you consider how easy it is to play online with pretty much anything these days and with you know like discord or whatever it's it's pretty close to a land party experience but it's not quite the same you know you're not all sitting around the same table shouting at each other you don't get the uh the dankness of like the you know, the sweat and the pizza going on, you know? <laughs> uh, Jai J was up. 1.6 with the boys, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, we didn't play any CS. We played uh, uh, Star Wars Jedi Knight, Jedi Outcast, which has fantastic lightsaber combat. Really, really fun. Uh, we were trying to keep it, like, period appropriate, you know? Uh, we play Battlefront 2, which is still a phenomenal game. Really, really excellent. Uh, we played Dawn of War, which is uh, Warhammer RTS from back in the day. They made a couple sequels. They weren't as good. The original Dawn of War still reigns supreme. Uh, and that's always just a, a massive meat grinder. Um, we played uh, Dungeon Siege, which many of you might know is an absolute favorite of mine. I've streamed it here uh, a number of times. We should play that again sometime soon, actually. But uh, awesome action RPG from the early 2000s. Uh, and so it's just a, it's a riot to get together with some friends and just like wrecking crew your way through that, that game. Um, and really cool because Dungeon Siege actually has an entirely separate multiplayer map. It's a totally different world, you know, different everything, right? So it's like, it's a huge amount of content that many people probably never experienced. Um, and it's a good map too. And then uh, we played some Age of Empires 2, absolutely classic. Uh, we played a little bit of Warcraft 2. Um, did we do anything else? We talked about playing a bunch of other stuff, but we just didn't, we ran out of time. But, uh, yeah, that was, that was what we did. It was, it was a blast. It was a really good time. Um, Indy says, congrats on getting married. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, the wedding's next month. Coming up quick. 
Bachelor in Land sounds like a blast. It really was. It really was. I'm glad we did it. I'm a little bittersweet about it because I'm like, oh man, like we do that so rarely these days. It's so hard to get everyone together for that. And we had such a blast. It's like, I enjoyed it, but it's like, I don't know when or if we'll do that again, you know? But I want to try and make it maybe like an annual thing. If we can try and make it an annual thing, that would be fantastic. Mike, you've not missed the beer pour. No, don't sweat it. The beer has yet to be poured. Um, Lonely Light says, by the way, I just got me a Switch today. Yo, some Smash Bros. The Switch, despite being a little long in the tooth these days, is still a phenomenal, phenomenal console. Such a great library on Switch. We wanted to play Halo uh, CE. We were going to... I talked about playing some Blood Gulch because it's a land party without some Blood Gulch, right? But um, we just ran out of time, really. <laughs> it just didn't quite make the cut. Not the beer pizza. You know what? Now I gotta bet you somebody somewhere has made a beer inspired pizza somehow. Yeah, that's right, Tactrix. The older you get, the less it happens, so enjoy it for sure. I don't know, it's, on one hand it's like, it's stupid to be sad about like having a great time, <laughs> but it just reminds me how, how infrequently we get to do that these days. But, you know, it's all the more reason to try and make it happen more, right? Sometimes it's just a matter of, you know, taking the initiative and trying to be the one to plan these things, right? Sometimes you just gotta be persistent. <laughs> Yo, Jackal Pop, it's been a hot minute, how you doing? Well, come on in. KT Williams says, I miss the days of multiple Xboxes and TVs in a room playing Halo 1. Another classic experience, without a doubt. MZ9, hello and welcome. Hello and welcome. Logan, the Mexican one. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Come on in, make yourself comfy. Okay, Sargon has a dad joke. Uh, and it goes, what is Godzilla's favorite candy? Warheads. <laughs> I don't know if Godzilla likes the warheads. <laughs> You're right, Tactrix. It's not a proper stream without some scam time these days. That's correct. Tactrix says, can you imagine it's been 30 years since Gold and I released and they still don't have proper four-person uh, split screen for it? That is like a new release with four-person split screen. I feel like four-person split screen is like just not a thing that happens anymore. Pretty much like almost never. I don't know. I'm trying to think of a modern game that, that supports four-person split-screen. It's funny because the TVs are bigger than ever. I remember trying to play four-person GoldenEye, uh, split-screen GoldenEye on like, like literally like, it's probably like a 13-inch TV which had like a postage stamp of space. It was ridiculous. But, uh, that was, that was how we did it. Uh, Brass Jack says, Hi Nick, glad to be here. Ever since I moved, it's so hard to catch your streams now. I know the time zone situation sucks for a lot of people. I wish it was easier. I wish I could stream at a time that was universally uh, awesome for everyone. Um, and I'm sorry that it's tough for you to make it, Brass Jacks, but I'm glad you're here now. I'm glad you're here now. One day, in my, like, perfect image of what the future looks like I'm streaming earlier I started streaming like an hour or two earlier than I do now that's how I used to do it I feel like it was better that way but life is just what it is and sometimes it's tough to to make that happen but one day I hope to do that again Tactrix I saw the first episode of the new Fallout show many of the rest of you watched it no spoilers here. I don't want to be spoiled. I guess I'd only seen the first one. But um, I really liked it. I was surprised with how much I liked it, actually. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a pretty casual Fallout fan, I would say. Uh, you know, I love my Bethesda games, but Elder Scrolls has always been my true love. <laughs> Fallout has uh, always taken sort of a backseat. Um, which isn't to say I, I don't enjoy the games, but it's just not, I'm not a rabid Fallout fan. Anyway, point is, as someone who's just sort of a casual fan of the games, uh, I, I thought the TV show really did a great job 
the first episode at least, of hitting that balance between like the like darkness and like really messed up stuff of Fallout, but also the absurdity and the levity and the kitschiness of that setting. Which is a tough line to walk, right? So uh but yeah, it seemed really good so far. Christian, Christian, Christian. Uh, welcome on in. How you doing? Thank you for the 12 month resub, one whole year. Happy subversary, Christian. Would want a sub to go to anyone else. Yo, I appreciate it, Christian. Thank you for all that you do. Glad to be here as always. Love this community. Keep being here, Christian. We'd love having you here. You are such an awesome part of this community. Thank you for for making it more awesome by being here with us. And happy one year anniversary. That's uh that's a big one. I hope you're doing great. Um speaking of anniversaries of a sort, I mentioned earlier it's Bruce's birthday. And I think it's high time that we sang happy birthday to him now that everybody's here. I was just waiting for the chat to fill up a little bit so we can give him a proper happy birthday. So, uh, on the count of three, let's all sing some happy birthday for our good friend, Bruce Buchner. I'm taking these earbuds out so that uh, I'm not being blasted by Skyrim music in the ear. And I have muted the music. It doesn't matter for you guys, because you're not singing for real. You could, though. You could sing along, if you want. <laughs> all right. Let's do it. Here we go. Three, two, one. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Bruce Buchner. We just call Bruce. I don't know why I'm giving you your last name. I guess because it's in your username. Happy birthday to you. And many more. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Happy birthday, Bruce. Uh, another spin around the sun. Uh, another year wiser. Another year richer. Uh, another year more awesome. You've leveled up once again. Uh, and I do hope that you got the opportunity to do some stuff that you love today, whether that's spending time with loved ones or just doing something you really enjoy, you know, uh, maybe eating some food you love. You know how it is. Uh, you've had enough of these to know how it is. Uh, Bruce, I, I do hope it was a good one. I really do. Uh, Warrior Wiki, thank you for the follow. Thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. Welcome on in. Uh, oh, look at that. Moderators in the chat. We got a close eye on things. Eyelash Hippo demonstrating the power of the band hammer tonight. Thank you, Eyelash. I appreciate that. That was like 20 minutes ago, probably. Uh, Yurel, great to see you. Welcome on in. Butts up, Nick. Thank you, Butts Bot. Butts up, everyone. <laughs> Uh, uh, Uriel, thank you also for the blood sugar check. Uh, I will do that right now. Also, Nakoma, uh, yo, whoever's bonking me, that's not fair. Butt spot said butts up. Okay, I was just quoting butt spot. I was par not even paraphrasing, direct quote. Uh, Punchur, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Uh,. Blood sugar actually a little bit high, interestingly. It looked like it was going kind of low. And so uh, I had a little extra snack before I started, but now it's at 9.8. So hopefully it doesn't go any higher. 9.8 is fine if it kind of tops out there. But don't really want to go any further past that. But uh, Nicoma, I will use your blood sugar check in just a little bit to check up on it and make sure it's not, not going crazy. Um, where are we at here? Goaded Vic says ASMR gamer. 
raised over 10k for cancer research this weekend what wait like the asmr gamer like uh uh like on youtube or streaming here on twitch that's immense wow a 10 hour live stream and ten thousand dollars raised that's incredible that's that's like really impressive actually a huge congrats for raising so much money for such a great cause that's incredible um i feel like i w i don't know if i'm following the asmr gamer here <laughs> which is a weird thing i probably should be uh but i'm wondering if this like is you like uh i don't know if the asmr gamer here on twitch is the same as the asmr gamer over on youtube um Storm Shan, I'm glad that you're enjoying vibing here. Also, Eyelash, thank you for slowing things down a little bit. I'm sorry that you're all stuck in the slow mode. Bear with me. Thank you for your patience. I will be catching up eventually. <laughs> Neebsy, good to see you too. Welcome, Neebsy. Hope you're doing great. Uh... I knew what you meant, Starshan. It's all good. It's all good. Hey, Churchy. Churchy says, evening, homies. As is tradition, just dropping in to say hi before going into lurk mode. Hope everyone had a great weekend. I absolutely did, Churchy. I hope you did, too. Thanks for stopping on by. I love it. I appreciate the tradition. Uh, Palmer says, binging the Fallout series as we speak is so good. That's good. I'm glad it stays good. Batuhan, hello and welcome. Uh, yes, Jackal Pop, Jedi Outcast is so good. I know most people prefer Jedi Academy, and Jedi Academy is very good, don't get me wrong. More lightsaber fighting styles, just more in general. But for whatever reason, Jedi Outcast holds a really special place in my heart. I played the crap out of the multiplayer for that game, so back in the day. So yeah, that was a lot of fun to play. Tactrix says, I've got some good news on that front. Talking about logging gaming rigs, I think, to LAN parties. Uh, the new AMD APUs are as powerful as a mid-range GPU, like a dedicated card, which means the next gen of them will make standalone APUs so we can make smaller rigs like Micro ATX or Mini ITX to make LAN parties easier. I love it. For, personally, I would love to have such a rig in addition to my main rig. I bet you a lot of people, well, maybe, I don't know. Do you think people will switch to small form factor gaming rigs? Do you think that'll become the, the norm at some point? Hard to say. Hard to say. Generally, things do get smaller in technology, I suppose. But, uh, but gaming PCs have remained the same size for a very long time, so I don't know. Um... Oh, hey, I missed Alice and Rowdy saying I'm playing a Dunmer Werewolf remake of my D&D &D Drow guy. Yo, that sounds like fun. That's fantastic. Hi, Jack. I've not actually played the Battlefront 2 re-release. Uh, I know it's, you know, the same old game, just uh, a little bit uh, modernized. I heard it had a really rough launch, but is it in a better place now? Because I heard it was very buggy at launch. Uh, Javier, hello, says... Ah, some good old Skyrim ASMR. Absolutely perfect with some pizza and Lagunitas. Oh yeah, Lagunitas IPA, very good, very good IPA. I've had that one. Cheers, Javier, and welcome. I'm glad you're chilling with us. Deuce Nugget, what's up? Deuce Nugget says, I love your keyboard videos. Thank you. What are your favorite switches for gaming versus coding slash working? Well, that's a really good question. Um, <laughs> I've got so many keyboards, I'm swapping them out pretty regularly. I know a lot of people prefer tactiles or clickies for coding and working, uh, or a lot of typing, and then prefer linears for gaming. I've never necessarily like felt that distinction was necessary for me. I'm happy to, you know, do either on either. I will say. Uh, the keyboard that I use at the office is uh, tactile, 
uh, whereas typically at home I have a linear on my desk these days, but I do work from home a lot and I use my linear keyboard for that. So including coding, um, and writing, you know, papers and stuff. So, um, I know it's not a very satisfying answer, but the answer is I, I switch it out a lot. I used to be a diehard tactile guy, like tactile switches were my favorite favorite. These days I really like linears. A nice linear switch and a nice keyboard really sings. So I guess linears are my thing these days, but I don't know. <laughs> I feel dirty saying that somehow. Like I'm betraying my tactile brethren. Oh yeah, we wanted to play StarCraft 2 Tactrix, but we also ran out of time. Not StarCraft 2, but StarCraft as well. Like original StarCraft. Uh, one day the Zerg will pay for their transgressions against my proton. <laughs> one day. Palmer says, what you doing with the hair for the wedding up or down? You know, that's a really good question. I don't know yet. I haven't decided. I might do it back, but instead of like in a tight ponytail, maybe just like kind of loosely gathered at the back, you know, kind of like down there like that, possibly. Should I get some hair bling for the wedding? Should I get like a really nice like leather uh, hair tie or something? Uh, Naga says, I made another slow cooker meal for tonight, a teriyaki beef. Oh, that sounds real good. You're going to become the slow cooker king of these streams. Everyone's going to need your recipes. Uh, where are we at here? Sage. I'm going to go to Sage Mitch in the chat. Sage, good to see you. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing great tonight. And also, Nakoma has arrived. I knew Nakoma had arrived already, but I now am acknowledging it formally. Welcome, Nakoma. It is wonderful to have you here. Thank you for gracing us with your presence. That's my formal acknowledgement, in case you were wondering what that was. Uh, I hope you're doing great tonight, Nakoma. Jack and Pop says, I finished the Fallout show this weekend, eight episodes. It was incredible. Very well done. Okay, oh, I'm really looking forward to it. We're still finishing up Shogun. Um, so uh, we have uh, two episodes to catch up on there. Um, but we'll probably like kind of interleave it with the Fallout because I do want to watch more Fallout. Uh, Logan, the Mexican one, uh, the Fallout show is on Prime, Amazon Prime Video. Uh, is where you can find it. Uh, Nicole says, I'm going to visit Canada again this Tuesday. Hey, welcome back to the, the True North Strong and Free. I'll be in the Toronto area, though, with my girl, uh, which is a long way from where I'm at, sadly. But one day, one day, when you make it over here, we are going to, I don't know, I'll buy you a drink or something. Or uh, It would be awesome to meet up, at least, and say, you know, say hi. <laughs> so many folks that I've known for so long through this community, and I've never had the opportunity to meet IRL. But when I do get the chance, it's always really, really fun. And there are some people that I have had a chance to, to meet up with over the years. It's always a blast. Um, Christian, okay, Christian. Christian's wondering if Roll for Relaxation is going to be playing, if we're going to be playing tomorrow. Roll for Relaxation is the group of other ASM artists that I play Dungeons & Dragons with, as well as other games. So... Last week, we did a character creation session for a new sci-fi setting that we were going to start a game in. But, turns out that our uh, player, Mira, who's been away for a while, musing Mira ASMR, some of you may know her, she's uh, back available again to play with us. So, not tomorrow, sadly, but the following week. So, like a week tomorrow, we're all going to be back. We're going to be returning to the Desert Knights campaign. And that cliffhanger will be resolved for you, Christian. So you have just over a week to wait. <laughs> You've been so patient. And anybody else who's been following along and, and waiting. Uh, yeah, we're going to get back to it. It's happening. It's happening. Uh, Serene Artemis in the chat says, It's 6.30am and I still haven't slept. 
I'm sorry to hear it. Uh, maybe just hanging out here. Lots of friendly folks here. Some good vibes. Some soft speaking. Maybe that'll help you out. I hope. Uh, we can only hope. Sometimes it's not so easy to just, just do it, sadly. But I, I do hope we can help you get some sleep. Butt Spot knows not what they do, but you do know what you do, Nicholas. <laughs> You're just saying I can't just blindly quote Butt Spot. Are you telling me that Butt Spot does not have the intellect to understand what they're saying? Uh, Bruce says, wait, Nick, what time did the stream start? My browser just never updated until I refreshed. Uh, I don't know when I actually started, but it's been fifth as of right now. 53 minutes 46 seconds so you can back calculate <laughs> Argus Rex welcome am I gonna buy any magic the gathering cards from the newest set it's Wild West Cowboys and Outlaws I'll probably pick up a few packs I think that'd be fun um, I'm not like the biggest Wild West guy but uh, that does sound pretty pretty wacky. I'll probably pick up a few boosters and we can open the view on stream. We can do some random MTG card requests with Cowboys. Uh, but I definitely will be picking up packs for that one that's coming later in the summer. I always forget the name. Something Burrow. Cute animals. Red wall like setting. Looks fantastic. For sure going to be buying up some of those. Um, hey, Faye I in the, in the chat, good to see you. Uh, Faye I says, I'm just going to call you Faye, because that's how I, I, it's originally what I was calling you until I realized it's a play on AI. But I'm just going to call you Faye, I hope that's okay. Faye says, I'm so glad to catch another stream. It's wonderful to have you back here. I'm glad you can make it again. It's been a little bit. I hope you're doing great. Uh, Limit77 says, you know what time it is, <laughs> smart nerd? Is it time for you to vaguely imply that you're upset with me for something and then never explain why? Because I'm, I'm, I'm prepared for that. <laughs> I'm here for it. Uh, uh, Tactrix says, I think they will, talking about uh, whether... Gaming rigs will get smaller with time. Tatrick says, I think they will. I personally have been trying to make small factor rigs for a while now, and GPU size has been the main issue. I've been waiting for APUs to improve to this level for like 10 years. Do you think, though, that, I mean, if APUs are advancing that far, that's great. But presumably that means that with a dedicated GPU that's oh, even bigger, with like more cooling and more power, you could have even more gaming performance. And so if people are willing to, and if the companies are willing to make them, like NVIDIA and AMD, then people will keep buying big GPUs because they want that additional power. And then the bar just keeps moving. I don't know. I feel like it's been like that forever, right? Yeah, I mean, like, you've always been able to make a mini ITX system, or not always, but for many years, but few people choose to do so. And I just, I don't know that I expect that to change but maybe I do love the idea of packing a bunch of power into a small compact system but I've always felt like there were concessions that had to be made to do that you know and I was not willing to do that um alright glad you're all caught up Bruce Go scanning through the YouTube stream. Uh huh. Uh huh. Welcome back to the present. Well, I'm not really caught up to the present yet, but. Uh, yeah. But this camp is with us right yeah. here, right now, in this moment. And that's what matters. Javier asks Have you ever considered making a desk or office tour? Looks like you've got some interesting items in the background. Thank you. I do have a lot of fun stuff back there. Um, and yes, I've had people ask for a setup tour you know, a number of times. Honestly, the thing that's holding me back 
is that it's kind of messy in here. Oh god, bunker. Right over my face, bunker. It's kind of messy in here. And I would want to, like, clean it up properly before doing a setup tour. Because it would be embarrassing for you to see my mess over there. Uh, and... I mean, I guess I could just do one, like, over back there and I'll show you the rest of the room. There's a fair bit of stuff back there that would be kind of fun to, to go go through. You know? Um, <laughs> Saint Nick blesses you. The, the origin of the Saint Nick meme is... It was when I was AFK. For some reason, I would put that up just to show that I was AFK. I don't know why that became the thing, but that's that's how it was. Uh, Alice and Rowdy says, you've got such gorgeous, healthy hair, Nick. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, you've got to show it off with some Viking braids. <laughs> I have, I have, well, Sarah has braided my hair before. I guess I could braid it for the wedding. I don't know. What would that look like? I don't know how that would look. I guess we could. I don't know. I'll think about it. Uh, True Devil Fox, welcome on in. Great to have you here, and I hope you have a great night too. Oliver says, I just, I don't know what that means, so I'm not going to say it out loud. <laughs> I, I'll leave it in the chat for now. It sounds harmless enough, but <laughs> I, I hope you get, I hope you can sort out your situation there. I don't know if that's like a euphemism for something. <sighs> Mr. Roger Sweater, fantastic to see you. Welcome in, the most wholesomely named member of this community. Uh, Palmer says, I've got long hair too, and it is a struggle sometimes for formal events. That's why I ask, I don't mean to overstep. Yeah, I normally, I just wear it back in a ponytail if I meant, you know, something a bit more formal, but I could just wear it down like this, I guess. I, I really don't know yet. Yeah, no, it's not overstepping at all. Uh, I just need to think about it and figure it out. <laughs> uh, oh, I lashed disabled slow mode. Hopefully that wasn't preemptive. Because I'm still, <laughs> I'm still catching up a little bit. Oh my goodness. My goodness, my goodness. Uh, where are we here? Thank you, thank you for that quote, uh, Nightbot. Uh, Jen, Jen Tang, what? Welcome. Jen says, hi Nick and friends, remember me? I'm sorry I disappeared, I had a rough year and I didn't want to bring any of that negativity to this cozy safe space. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry you had a difficult year. It's so good to see you back, though. <laughs> and I, that's very thoughtful of you to think about, you know, maintaining this as a safe space for everyone. You are always, of course, welcome to hang out. And if you don't want to participate in chat, you're always welcome to lurk as well. That's just a, for everyone, just so you know. Um, never feel like you have to you know, participate in the chat if you're not feeling it, but, um, Jen goes on to say, things are starting to look better now, move to a new place and turn 30 on the weekend, yo, happy birthday, do you want, okay, okay, there's a lot going on here, welcome back, I'm glad that you are doing better, things are starting to look up, that's really, really positive, I'm very glad to hear it, it's really great to see you back, and, if you would like, I would love to sing you happy birthday. But you let me know if that is uncomfortable. If you prefer not, then that's totally fine. Sargon. Uh, sorry, what got censored? I didn't see anything censoring. Automod sometimes does catch questionable things, though. I can see why it might censor sucker. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, talking about GPUs again, Tactric says, the thing that I'm not seeing, the thing is I'm not seeing a huge benefit to big GPUs anymore because now they're causing more problems than they're solving. I mean, maybe, 
I guess it depends on what you're doing with it. You know. But yeah, maybe. Maybe for, like, most people, that might be the case. Moving ahead. It's hard to say. Hard to say. Um... Rango. That's where I was at. <laughs> I keep getting lost in the chat because I'm tired, I think. I think that's why. Uh, Rango, wonderful to have you out, my friend. The one and only, but only Rango Steel, everyone. Uh, Rango says, hello, everyone. I saw your... I saw you washed your pawns in the river. <laughs> well, your pawn will be upset. You get more happiness from one high five than upon death. So it works out as long as you high five after fights. Wait, how do you make the high five happen? I've just had it happen randomly, but can I, like, force that to happen? Can I initiate high five with my pawns? Yes, I straight up yote them off a cliff into this, into the river. It was savage. I felt bad about it. But <laughs> it was for the best. Finster, welcome on in. Good to see you. Hope you're doing great tonight. Hey, who else we got? We got Rick Grimes. Rick Grimes, wonderful to see you too. Uh, Rick says, hey Nick, it's great to see you. I hope you're well. I am. Thank you very much. Um, you got a new PC recently. An absolute beast with the latest of everything. 4090 i9 14900K. Dang. Dang. <laughs> Uh, I'm sure you're putting that to good use. That's, uh, that is a beast. And you concur about people's thoughts on Fallout. You binged it in a day and you adored it. Part of me. Oh. Told you I'm sleepy. Uh, that's, that's a lot of Fallout in a day. <laughs> it's eight episodes and they're what, like an hour apiece? I mean, I, that's doable, but that's a lot. I'm glad you enjoyed it, though. Uh, amazing show from start to finish. The ending is also a love letter to fans. I'm glad they did it right. So there's such a uh, uh, stigma around video game adaptations into TV and movies, but I feel like I feel like that's slowly dissipating because we've had some pretty decent adaptations as of late, you know. But for a long time, it was like. Oh, video game movie adaptation, it's gonna suck. But I feel like we're, we're moving moving ahead from that, finally. I'm really glad they did a good job with the Fallout show. I'm also really glad that John Wismiller is here. John, <laughs> welcome. Hello, John and... I was gonna say John and friends, but that doesn't make sense. Uh, but hello, John. Um, and also... Happy 32 month anniversary. That is sneaking ever closer to that three year mark. The time just flies by, John. It flies by. It's because it goes fast when you're having fun. And you've been here for those 32 months, therefore, we've been having fun. <laughs> That's what I'm going with. Uh, but thank you again, John. Thank you for coming on back for another month. And it's wonderful to see you tonight. What, what is quote number 949? I do not remember that quote. Sargon, why are you out there with these incriminating quotes from me? Uh, Tactrix says, You of all people know that games like Cyberpunk are a good example. Uh, I play it just as well on a 3060 as a 4090. Sure, it does look better on a 4090, but the price difference and the no chance of my rig catching on fire. <laughs> Ooh, side shade on the 4090s is worth it more to me than the small graphical improvement. And that's fine. Everyone has different priorities when it comes to uh, what they want out of their gaming experience. I'm just the kind of person that I like, I really like to be able to crank everything to the max. That's an important aspect of gaming to me. So I like to be able to do that. But uh, yeah, a lot of people just don't care as long as they have like a a comfortable and playable experience uh that's what matters right so i get it i totally get it and i think most people probably feel that way eyelash says i have to participate in chat because if i don't the little worm living inside of me whips my brain <laughs> tell us more about this 
little brain worm. Just jump back to YouTube here, sorry. My bad. The, you can see the cogs turning tonight. It's the lack of sleep. Uh, Bradshaw, what's up? Bradshaw says, hello, am I late? Wrong chat. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Doesn't matter which chat. Uh, but the YouTube and the Twitch are uh, here for you. Uh, you are not that late. I mean, we're an hour into the stream, but I don't know, by my standards, that's not so late. <laughs> It's great to see you though, Bradshaw. Welcome. And owner, good morning to you. Thanks for joining us here. Um, uh, Jen says, oh, I've still been lurking. Oh, okay, so you have been here all this time. And watching every single video. Oh, I really miss this place. How are you doing? What is the wedding? The wedding's coming up in mid-May, so it's coming up like pretty soon. We are into that, uh, you know, sorting out the details now. We have to f uh, finalize our menu uh, for the reception. We have to. Oh, that just reminded me. I have to. I gotta send a payment. Hold on a second. I meant to send that yesterday, and I forgot. Allow me to just write myself a note here. Uh, so I don't forget to do that after, after the stream. Oops. Uh, I've got to send a second payment to our florist. Send payment. Uh, payment <laughs> number two to florist. Sorry, our floral designer. Uh, and to be fair, she is uh, really into this. I think she's going to do a fabulous job. So she probably is, in fact, you know, a accomplished floral designer, <laughs> judging by her website and whatnot. Uh, Juice, by the way, thank you for the follow. Welcome. Welcome on in. Um, anyway, yes, sorry. That's the wedding's about a month away. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. Um, and then Bradshaw shows up in the Twitch chat. Good to see you. Welcome, Bishaw. Sargon says, Eyelash, I don't think you're supposed to have brain worms. You should probably get that checked out. Probably. Probably. Uh, Rango Steel says for the high five, uh, they have to want it and just walk up to them and it should happen. Okay, because I've noticed it happened a couple times, but I wasn't sure what was causing it to happen. That's good to know. <laughs> what if you just leave them hanging? That's savage. Barbecue, enjoy your lurk. Uh, Jen says, uh, also thank you, and how could I say no to a birthday song from you? Well then, it's time for... Uh, us to all sing happy birthday to Jen. Let's do it. All right. Um, I'm going to mute the Skyrim once again so that you can all ensure that you're singing along in tune. In tune. All right. Okay. And I myself, I'm going to <clears throat> prepare. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> okay. Three. One. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy slightly belated birthday, dear Jen. Happy birthday to you. Uh, and it was a big one. 30 is a big one. It's kind of a scary one, but it's a good one. In retrospect, you look back on it, it's a good one. Well, for me anyway so uh happy birthday oh and many more can't leave off that part that's important uh but i do hope that you had a, a fantastic i almost said spectacular which would have been fine too but i changed to fantastic at the last second uh a fantastic spectacular wonderful or at least just nice birthday you know I don't want to set the bar 
the expectation is too high. But I hope you got to do something you like, see some people you love, enjoy some food or some tasty cake, you know, and, uh, and enjoy yourself. <sighs> Krem the Existential has requested an Eevee pet. Yes, we can do that for sure. Also, welcome, Krem. <laughs> what is with these quotes? Sargon, why? Sargon, why? Bruce says, I just scanned back to the birthday rendition, and you gotta always put in the <laughs> and many more. Case in point. Case in point. That's the part that just hits. I love it. I'm glad. I'm glad, Bruce. Uh, I, I hope that you uh, you enjoyed your birthday song as well. Uh, where are we at here? Skyvely Lemon, hello. Welcome. Welcome. Great to have you with us. Bruce says an hour into the stream is just everybody coming in and grabbing a seat, really. <laughs> kind of. Kind of. I mean, you know, there's, there's a fair bit of chatting that happens in the first hour, but yeah. But also, you know I'm not going to start the game yet. Sargon says, I remember running across a Reddit thread recently where someone was complaining about streamers just running a loading screen or chatting for the first 10 minutes while everyone filed in. And all I could think of was, Nick would drive this guy insane. It's true. I, it's, I have a particular brand of stream here particular style of stream that's not to everyone's taste I understand that I understand that and that's just how it is this is how I like to do it because it would feel wrong if I did it any other way and so it's sort of a self-curating community I guess people who can't stand this sort of thing well they're just not here I guess but that's okay that's okay and I'm glad that the people who are here are folks who enjoy it Fights with Spoons, what is up? A Fights with Spoons requested the beer lore. The beer lore. That means I better go get tonight's beer from the fridge, eh? Uh, and uh, we can take a look at it, and I will uh, give you the lore behind it, the deep lore of my uh, raspberry mango sour. <laughs> uh, all right, I will be right back with the beer. You all are going to behave yourselves while I'm away, right? Why wouldn't you? Of course you will. You're such well-behaved viewers. Such an amazingly well-behaved community. I will be right back. I go to avert mine eyes and pretend I don't see all those flames beginning in the bottom of the chat. I'll be right back. That is more fire than usual. That is a lot of fire. <laughs> this, is a, this is the whole chat. This is all on fire. All of it. Um, I'm impressed, actually. Although Sargon is out there and Nekoma out there, both doing their best to try and keep things from completely... Wow, wow this just keeps going. Dang, that's a lot of fire. <laughs> you know what? I'm surprised... Whenever I look to see, like, Twitch tells you what the most used emote in your chat is. 
And consistently, it's the potato. It's not the flames. And so as long as that's the case, I'm happy. I'm okay with that. Pardon me. Uh, <laughs> and over in the YouTube chat, Orange Slice uh, out there, lighting chat on fire, and then with the no chat, or the no fire uh, symbols. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like you can't have it both ways. Also, Orange Slice, aka Handsome Dashing Princess, how you doing? Welcome. Welcome. Uh, Chris, uh, over in the YouTube chat, also says, I really enjoy the cozy chatting before you start in with the game each stream. It's one of my favorite parts of your streams, actually. Well, Chris, I'm glad. And I think that's probably why you're, you know, such a great fit here. Because, <laughs> uh, you know, you have to... You have to be here for it, I guess. You have to be in for that. Otherwise, I, I, I can't understand how these streams would be pretty insufferable. So, I'm glad you did it, Chris. Okay, allow me to just uh, scroll through all the flames. Oh, hold on a second. Uh, Juice asks, modded or vanilla? This is a very modded build. A very modded build. But it's a, an out-of-date mod list. It's like a six-year-old mod list. Cause I've been playing on the same save this whole time, so I can't really change it. <laughs> Yikes. Yikes eyelash. Um, also, Chubafet, welcome. Hey, Curtis Girl as well. Great to see you. How are you doing, Curtis Girl? What is new with you? I like your emotes. That's very good, hot dog. That was a very good jamming cat. Very fun. Uh, Curse Girl streams EverQuest, EverQuest here on Twitch. Go check it out for some old school MMO gaming, which I love. Yes, yeah, it is so very modded, eyelash. Uh, Jen says thank you everyone, and that was beautiful as always. I'm glad, Jen. I'm glad. I'm really glad you're feeling well enough to be here participating in the chat. It was such a like uplifting, feel good thing, and uh, it is really wonderful to see you back. It was really wonderful to see you back. The quote torture will continue until a wholesome one is found. This is Sargon. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's, that was not it. That next one was not it. How many hours in Skyrim do I have just on the main menu juice? Probably like, I don't know, as many as there are scamps in this army that's attacking us right now. Yes, someone said Evercrack, Sargon. That's Curtis Girl. Curtis Girl streams. Uh, Everquest. Meanwhile, Buttspot. Happy Butt. <laughs> Thank you, Buttspot. Uh, that's right, Sargon. I have a very particular tile of, style of streams. Style that I've acquired over a very long career. Style that makes me a nightmare for people like you. <laughs> exactly, Sargon. Straight up to spring is just how I roll. It's just how I roll. Okay, and then, yes, all the flames, blah, 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 all the flames. And then, and then... Pearls, did you miss the beer? No, I, I just went and got it, so you're good. You're good. You were here just in time. Um, uh, um, hey, Tucker. Welcome on in. Tucker says, hope all is well. Love the new Thief upload. I'm glad. I'm glad the Taffers are excited about it. Always love putting out a new Thief for, for y'all Taffers. Uh, Mauser, happy Sunday to you too. Fantastic to see you. How was your weekend, Mauser? Jen says, how I miss tormenting you in this game. <laughs> That's what you really love, seeing the pain in my eyes every time the scamps appear. Uh, Lemur. Lemur says, nice. I've been playing Skyrim lately, too. Sweet. What kind of what kind of build are you playing? What you plan as? Nokoma says, okay, it's 2 a.m. I'm going to lay down until I fall asleep. I'll be lurking until then. Nokoma, have a good, good sleep rest well have a fantastic start to your week 
and enjoy your trip to Canada if that's happening really soon. I can't remember exactly when you said, but uh, if I don't talk to you before then, have an awesome time. Oh, you, you literally say right here, you'll be modding from Canada next weekend, okay? So you'll be up there next weekend. If you can't make it, we of course understand. It's most important that you enjoy your time. So, but if we do see you, that's awesome. That's rad. I'd love to see you next weekend too. <sighs> okay, quote, 975 is also not the wholesome one you were looking for, Sargon. I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. Lonely Light says you're not catching a break with these quotes. So, I am just going to put it out there. I'm pretty sure these quotes are a misrepresentation of me. Like, I feel like there's a little bit of selection bias in these quotes, you know? I'm pretty sure if you just took a random thing that I said across all of my streams ever, it probably would be pretty wholesome, right? Probably. That's what I'm telling myself anyway. Uh, oh, Nick, we've got some mic scratches on the request list. Oh, you absolutely do. What's the bonk about? What's the bonk? <laughs> it was so undeserved. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, Nicoma, I'm going to do, first of all, your blood sugar check that you requested a little while ago. I'm going to get down. Now, I see that. I have remembered. Uh, 10.3 and stable. So it's a little high, but it looks like it's peaked. So hopefully it's coming down soon. I just wish it wasn't quite so high, but that's okay, as long as it doesn't go any higher. Uh, beer lore for fights with spoons. Real quickly here, since that is on the list next. Uh, we will open this shortly but for the moment i will show you the beer the raspberry mango sour from salt spring brewing i've actually had this in my fridge since last summer that sounds like a really long time to have beer in the fridge and it is but it should still be fine uh like if it's more or less kept in the dark in a can in the cold in a fridge you know beer can last a year or more um but they say about eight months for like freshness, you know, for it to be at its best. Um, and this has probably been about eight months, so I figured I should probably get to it. Uh, also, I drank a lot of beer this weekend at the bachelor party, and so I wanted something that was light and refreshing rather than something heavy and boozy. Uh, and I have a couple of heavier, boozier ones in the fridge that we will save for future streams. Um, but uh, this one, a nice, fruity, refreshing, uh, not super heavy beer seemed like a great pick for tonight. So um, this is from Salt Spring Island Brewing, which is located on Salt Spring Island, which is a smaller island, just a little bit off the coast of the bigger island on which I live. And uh, uh, Sarah and I like to go over there every summer. It's a really nice kind of, you know, like, well, it used to be kind of a hippie sort of place. Now it's more rich people, but it's still a really nice place. It's still got uh, actually a fairly like down tempo island life kind of vibe, um, and the brewery there is is really nice too, uh, with some great stuff. So uh, the beer lore reads: This kettle sour is made with a generous amount of raspberry and mango fruits, fermented with a secret cocktail of a lactobacillus. The result is a deliciously crafted sour beer, perfectly balancing both acidity and fruitiness. Made with raspberries, mangoes, spring water, malt, lactobacillus, and yeast. So that would be the lactobacillus is a, a bacteria that they introduce to the, uh, the fermentation to add its own flavor, I guess. And that's probably... I guess also what just does the souring, I suppose. Um, so, um, but they got some really tasty stuff over there. And this one I have had before, so I know it is delicious. It's also got really nice trees and birds and stuff on it. A little barn. So that is tonight's beer lore. Uh, and now some mic scratches for Nakoma. Kramba, you are waiting so patiently, so patiently for the Eevee pets. I promise we'll get to that in just a moment as well. Uh, just 
scrolling back in the chat here for a moment. Uh, the head has disappeared. Okay, that's probably not that that wholesome, I guess. Juicy, that could be wholesome. You hate that one? Okay, fine. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Sage. The Jiggly Pug says, Spoon Review When I've Waited Six Years for a Sequel. Oh my gosh, the Die Hard Spoon Review holdouts. Jiggly Pug, I had no idea that there were still, there were still folks waiting on a Spoon Review. This year, I had wanted to do a April Fool's video, and I had a really good one in mind, but I just didn't have time with all the wedding stuff. It just, I, it just wasn't going to happen. Jiggly Pug, don't give up hope. I can't promise anything, but... Maybe one day. <laughs> At least I know there's still people waiting for it. Also, speaking of... Nah, I don't know. I was trying to figure out how to turn that into still people waiting for Draconis, ASM artist, but he's here now, so you could stop waiting, I guess. That's not a very good transition. Uh, but Drake, it is wonderful to see you. How you doing, my guy? How are you doing? Welcome on in. We're just uh, having a, a little dig through the quote bank here uh, to try and find some wholesome quotes of mine that are, I'm sure, very well represented in the quote bank. Uh, you know, probably lots of very wholesome quotes in there, so I'm sure we'll find one soon. Uh, happy 58 months anniversary, Drake. That's not a real number, but I'm glad that you're still here, even though you're just imaginary numbers, subscriptions now. <laughs> also, y'all, go check out Drake. Go subscribe, or whatever. Yes, subscribe, follow, do the things, you know. Do the things. Um, I'm just gonna shout out. Shout, shout, shout out. Very common is SMR just. Boom. 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 Go click that heart. Follow that man. And your life will be better for it. <laughs> uh, of course, you know, I don't have to advertise for Drake. You, you all know Drake. You know he's an amazing dude. You know he's a fantastic streamer and a wonderful ASMR artist. Such a kind individual. Uh, but yeah, go do, go do those things. We're just batting a thousand quotes around tonight. I know we really are. Well, you really are. Okay, wait, quote 260. I'm not drinking this beer because you wanted me to. I'm drinking this beer because I feel like it. <laughs> yeah, that's sure we'll call that wholesome. Thank you, Sargon. Thank you for accept accepting that. No, but Sage is still going. Sage is still going. Quotes ain't lying. I mean, I think they're just a selective, a very small selection of a particular kind of thing that I say, you know? Oh, that's a, that's a wholesome one. Drake and Jenya are the two kidneys that keep this community clean and healthy. Oh, that's not my quote, though. That was Famcam. Oh, man. Huh. I mean, it's wholesome, but it wasn't me who said it. So I don't know if it counts. These are awful. Quote number one, though. All time great. All time great. Um, over in the YouTube chat. Hey, Bug ASMR, welcome. Oh, well, a second. It's Bug ASMR that's over here also requesting a spoon review. That's the Jiggly Pug. Unless there just happen to independently be two of you desperately wanting a spoon review right now. I don't think that's the case, if I had to guess. Uh, but good to see you over in the YouTube chat as well, Bug ASMR. MKF says, hey, what's up, dude? I'm pumped for Ermac. He comes up this week for MK1. You would be pumped for that, and I'm glad you are. That sounds awesome. I don't play MK, so I don't have a whole lot of context, but I hope that it is just as awesome as you hope. <laughs> I hope you enjoy Ermac and MK1. 
uh, Orange Slice says, did, did you enjoy listening to System of a Down as a young person? Or was the messaging and heaviness not your cup of tea? I definitely listened to System when I was younger. In fact, I saw System of a Down live uh, in Vancouver. Um, yeah, I enjoyed System quite a lot. I still do occasionally listen to System of a Down. Um, BSMR in the chat, hello. BSMR says, hey Nick, I've been subbed for over a decade. <laughs> it's wild to me that some of you have been around here for that long. It is fantastic. I love it. Uh, you just got into YouTube and you're almost monetized. Congratulations. That's huge. It's not easy. Uh, BSMR says, I'm curious, do you see substantial profit from YouTube? Uh, no specifics required, just curious if it's feasible to make a living. It is feasible to make a living, but it's not easy by any stretch. And for a long time, you uh, will have to find multiple <laughs> revenue sources uh, rather than just relying on YouTube ad revenue. At the point where my channel is at these days, is nowhere close enough or nowhere close to like being able to live off of um, in and of itself like the YouTube ad income would not be enough if you really want to go for it though you want to diversify your revenue sources by looking at taking on sponsorships as a big one you might consider looking at things like merch eventually when you get to that point uh, you could consider something like a Patreon or some kind of other crowd um, funded um, support system, whether that's for YouTube memberships um, uh, and other platforms like streaming on Twitch can help to supplement income as well. So really it's a matter of bringing all these different revenue sources together and then maybe, possibly, it's the kind of thing you could make a living off of, but it takes a long time to get to that point. So I don't want to lie to you and be like, yes, you'll be able to make a living off it right away or anything. Um, and like I said, I'm, I'm still not really at that point. And I doubt I ever will get to that point. Um, and that's partly by choice. You know, like I've, I've always had other things that I'm working towards and I've never focused 100% on my YouTube channel by choice. And so... I've always enjoyed doing, you know, YouTube and all this as what I consider to be a hobby, something from my heart that I love doing. But I would be lying if I didn't say that it has been really helpful as a secondary source of income, as a way to help me get through grad school, for instance. It has been, you know, hugely beneficial uh, in that way. So I don't know if that answers your question. I'll be SMR, but I do want to say. Congratulations on getting close to that monetization threshold. But yeah, it's it, yeah, definitely like keep the expectations, you know, tempered, I guess. Uh, cause it's, it's hard to make a lot of money, uh, unless, unless, you know, some people do just get really, they just find something that really works. Their channel explodes and there you are, like it can happen, but I don't think it's common. Uh, Level-headed Roger, uh, welcome, uh, welcome, and thank you for the follow. I just realized I was doing some like scratches, and then I, then I stopped. <laughs> so sorry, Nicoma, if you're listening, I'm sorry that I stopped your mic scratches. Sargon is over to terrorize YouTube chat for a little bit. Very good. Welcome to YouTube chat, Sargon. Quote 1000 is not a wholesome quote. <laughs> it is not a wholesome quote. Oh man. Uh, oh my gosh, Juba Fed. Why would you demand five minutes of gameplay now? I still haven't even opened my beer. I only just saw that request too. Wait, the scamp was silent? Shouldn't be. Oh, shoot, I just realized. I'm sorry. I had the Skyrim music off this whole time. I forgot to turn it back on after I sang Happy Birthday to Jim. And that's why the scamp was silent. Here, let me give you a free scampening. Just for you. To make up for the, the silent one. 
There you go. Yeah. Just for you. Just for you. Yeah. Good attempt at an ad segue. Thank you, Stoner Shen. I really did try. I really did try. I like how all of you guys were like, Nick, there's no desktop sound. And that was for like 10 minutes ago, probably. 2024 G2000. <sighs> Welcome on in. Army GG2000. Welcome. Those are some beautiful emotes you got there. Okay, um, well, I guess uh, the uh, rules dictate that I have to go play five minutes of gameplay requested by Chuba Fan. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Let's do it. And then we'll come back and we will open the beer. I still have to go pet Eevee and we have a few other things too. But you know what? Let's start. So, oh yeah, right, right, okay. The last time we played Skyrim, it was actually not all that terribly long ago, we finished off the main quest of this uh, um, mod that we've been chipping away at for a very long time now. This mod is a worm's tooth. Worm's tooth. And we came here chasing down a great dragon who basically taunted us and kicked our butts and then told us to come to this island and find him. And he tried to lure us here because he wanted to kill us and then raise us as part of his undead army that he was going to use to take over the world in the name of dragonkind once again gonna bring the dragons back into their glory um, and so we said no you will not do that and we murdered it and here here lies the remains of said dragon Volthorkra uh, and yeah that's that's where we got to last uh, session and that's great because we had been underground in a, a big long dungeon here for a very long time and it's so nice to be back outside again even if it is a little hazy where we're at even if this town is kind of destroyed right now and uh this is the the island of worm's tooth that i was speaking of there's actually a fair bit left for us to explore, I think. Uh, I kind of want to head up to this North Point, Dead Ship Point, and maybe head on over to Belanir's Borg. They're two interesting sounding places uh, that we have not checked out yet. And uh, I kind of want to, you know, just explore around a little more before we leave this island for other places. I'll have to decide where we want to go and what we want to do next. So. We shall have to see. Um, but, yeah, I think that would be a nice thing to do. Just head on up to the north end of the island here and see what we can find. A little Skyrim wandering, if you will. Oh, look at that. They're trying to rebuild the town. Oh, yeah, I was told, actually, that they... They could probably use our help rebuilding, so maybe there's some quests to pick up here. Oh, hey, this is our adventuring crew. Hey there, Danlet. They came with us previously. I'm not sure who we're supposed to talk to about uh, helping clean up around here, though. Yeah, she's sketch. She's pretty sus. Uh, I don't think we, I don't think we trust her. Oh no. Poor horse. Sad. Alright. Let's head north. Who are you? You're welcome. Um, we should also probably check to see if 
we need to eat and drink. We almost certainly do. Moderately hungry, severely thirsty, and severely fatigued. We should sleep. That's a real mood. We should definitely sleep. Is there anywhere around here that we can sleep, or will I have to set up my tent? I might have to set up my tent. So here's a tent. Oh, what? There's a Kaji caravan here? Shomara. I don't think we've met these Kaji yet. Also, I'm gonna sleep in their bed. <laughs> Awkwardly. Let's do it. We are. Oh, we are freezing apparently. Whoops. Let's go stand by the fire. Warm up. We'll have some uh, food and water while we're at it. Some bread, an entire cabbage, a carrot, uh, some cooked beef. That is a solid breakfast. And uh, some water. Good, we are now sated, hydrated, and rested. Excellent. Yo, naps. Naps, how are you doing? Welcome on in, it has been a billion years. It's so good to see you. Well, not a billion, that's an over-exaggeration, but it's fantastic to see you, naps. What's new with you? Um, okay. I think that probably constitutes the five minutes of gameplay that you Buffet requested. <laughs> Not that I don't want to play more, but we do have some other requests, and I still got to open the beer, and I've got some chat to catch up on. So uh, let's back up in the chat here a little bit and uh, make sure I haven't missed too much. If I can get on top of the chat, that'd be great. That'd be great. Uh, we could indeed see your emote in GG2000. Beautiful. Some beautiful hype nicks. Some beautiful potatoes. <laughs> uh, Bisha says, just curious, Nick, but what do you think if Pokemon Legends, or what do I think of Pokemon Legends Z A or however it's pronounced? I don't think we know how it's pronounced yet. Uh, I, I think I'm interested to see what it's going to be. Uh, I feel like an entire Pokemon game set in a city is not exactly what I want, but they could execute on it well, and it could be really neat. I think the Pokemon Legends games have been really interesting, and so in that regard, uh, I am curious to see uh, what they, you know, what they do with it. Uh, but we will just have to wait and see, I guess. Let's have to wait and see. Pokemon Legends game, I guess. Not games. I, I want to see more of it, basically. But I'm, I'm interested. They have my attention. Uh, Jen says, no way. I always wanted to see System Live. It was my favorite bands growing up. Yes, System is a band. System of a Down is the name of the band. GT2000. System of a Down. Uh, yeah, they are. They were really, really cool. They put on a great show. The crowd was a little scary. It was a very big show, a very big arena. It was one of the few shows where I've really felt the crush of the crowd while on the floor, and so that was a little scary. But uh, but it was a very good show. Um, Level-headed Roger, how you doing? What is up for you? What is new with you? Elijah Rogers says, finally been looking for a chill stream, or finally, comma, been looking for a chill stream to vibe too. I hope this is the chill stream you're looking for. I hope you're enjoying the vibes. Um, Sage, are you just going to start going through all the quotes one by one? <laughs> hey, it's Lionheart. Lionheart, welcome. I'm sorry, I missed when you appeared in the chat there. Howdy, howdy. A lion heart says, well, 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 it's Nick. It's like slightly accusatory. Well, well, well. If it isn't, Nick. 
I am having a wonderful night. Thank you. I hope you are too. Lionheart says, I've missed y'all. I was just moving for two weeks and I literally just set my PC back up. I hope the move went well. I hope it was smooth. I hope you like the new place. I hope it was not too much of a hassle. Still unpacking, totally. I'll be figuring out how to set up a two PC setup for OBS. I've always wondered if that's something I should try. Never, never done it, but I've, I've thought about it before. You'll have to let us know how it goes, if you find that it's worth it or not. Um, yeah, it's good to see you again, too. Welcome back, Lionheart. And like I said, I hope that your, uh, I hope your stream, or your stream, I hope your move went well. <laughs> I hope your streams in the new place do go well. What is a scamp? You know, Sage, I wish I could tell you, but a scamp is unknowable. Unknowable. <laughs> Lonely Light says, well, you game it up. I'm going to go have a shower. Hopefully make it back in time for beer pour. Maybe, maybe. I don't know if you're back yet, Lonely Light. Scootin' Boots. Thank you for the follow. Welcome. Um, silent Scamp. Holy Scamp. Absolutely right, Sargon. Uh, BSMR said on YouTube, interesting, thanks for the advice, really. And thanks, bro, I appreciate the kind words. You're a legend in the community as far as I'm concerned, regardless of how big your channel is, quality over quantity. BSMR, I appreciate that, thank you. I appreciate the kind words. And I'm looking to uh, check out what you've got going on over there, too. I'm curious to see, check out your content. Um, Xterm240, thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. Anton Jensen asks, how many gigs of RAM on that PC? I've got 64 gigs of DDR4 in here. Uh, I built it just before the main sort of switch to DDR5, so. Uh, but yeah, that, that 64 gigabytes of memory actually gets pretty good use these days. It, it gets filled right up with some of the work I do. Not necessarily gaming or channel related stuff, but some of the other work I do lately I've been doing a lot of analysis of um, what they call terrestrial LIDAR data uh, LIDAR is hold on a second wait wait let me one moment friends I will be right back That was just Sarah opening the door, which is a very squeaky door. <laughs> she just wanted a kiss. Who am I to say no? Um, yeah, I really gotta... One day, one day, I will oil this door. <laughs> uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, LiDAR data. Uh, it's basically like spatial data from lasers. Uh, like a little station on the ground shoots lasers out 360 degrees you get like a scan of your environment uh, and these scans can be hundreds of millions of points uh, and they when you're working with them they really do tax the system uh, Naps said it's been good um, it's been far too long certainly I'm doing good going back to my old job so I actually have time to hit the stream every other week yes yes I mean I hope that you're like that's what you want to be doing but I'm glad that you can be here selfishly oh life's been good I've been busy I started a new job I'm getting married things are busy but really good juice my favorite band slash genre currently if I had to pick one band 
that I really just really dig these days is probably Periphery. Periphery is like Gent, which is sort of on the border between like progressive metal and metalcore, like modern metal. Uh, but I really, I really, really dig Periphery these days. Um, Chuba Fett says, thank you for the gameplay. I have a job interview tomorrow and I can't stay up late. Have a great weekend, everyone. All right, Chuba Fett. I'm sorry you only got the few minutes of gameplay, but hey, crush that job interview tomorrow. I know you are. You're going to kill it. Uh, have a great sleep, Chuba Fett. Thanks for coming on out. And we will see you soon. We'll see you soon. Sleep well. Sleep well. Enko, hey. Welcome, Enko. Happy eight months. Welcome back for another one. Thank you for your very kind continued support, Enco. It means a great deal to me. It's wonderful to have you here. Enco says, hello, I was asleep, but I fell asleep before stream. This is not appropriate, so I woke up in the middle of the night and fixed that. <laughs> well, Enco, I don't want to be making your sleep schedule worse. I want to make sure that you're staying healthy and happy, but... It is really nice to see you here. I hope that you can get back to sleep easily. Goodness, how did I fall so far behind in the chat again, y'all? How did this happen? Uh, Bruce, my hopes for Star Wars Outlaws are a really uh, unique spin on a game about the Star Wars criminal element and underworld. We don't get that kind of story much out of Star Wars. It's a lot of Jedi stuff. So this seems to not be that, and that's exciting. I would love something that's really story-driven, uh, something with some really strong performances, something with some really cool Star Wars places to adventure in and explore. My fears about it are that it could end up like a, you know, the typical Ubisoft open world bloat game where uh, you have you know a handful of activities that are repeated again and again and they end up feeling very repetitive that would be no good um, but we'll see it will probably be somewhere in between those right what about you Bruce what do you want to talk about Oz Beach says I'm actually booked to play a system of a down cover show and I have to learn 30 songs that's a dang lot of songs right but that's that's gonna be fun. I bet you that's gonna be fun. Ah, uh, System of a Down are great, says Lonely Light. I prefer a Daughtry and Three Days Grace types, though. I saw Three Days Grace live once, too, uh, many years ago. They're pretty good. Uh, I've also been diving further into Bring Me the Horizon recently. Very cool. Very cool. Abyss Revival, thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. Uh, okay, <laughs> uh, have a good shower, lovely night. Uh, catching up again, catching up again. Nap says, spending too much money on shiny pieces of cardboard that I never get to play, but still loving it. Oh yeah, MTG, big time. Opening packs just gives me the good brain juices. I feel you, I feel you, Naps. That's pretty much where I'm at these days. You start with the Pokemon cards. And there's that whole deal with them getting scalped and the price is shooting up. Ah, fair enough. Bruce says, We use LiDAR data occasionally at my job to map out areas to set up shoots for scenes. That's a really cool application of that data. I use it from like a forestry perspective to understand forest structure and how that, uh, the fuels and structure of the forest influence fire behavior. But I could totally see the applications for, uh, you know, uh, seam blocking and setup and stuff like that. Uh, GG2000 says that did not sound good. Oh, the squeaky door, yeah. <laughs> Where'd you go? Oh, a kiss. Where's my? <laughs> I only dispense kisses for. <laughs> For one person here. I'm afraid it's not you, GG2000. I'm sorry. Uh, 
His daughter Shen says, basically, she's thinking Mashaga, I believe, for Gent. Yeah, they're one of the progenitors of Gent. Gent tends to be pretty chuggy, uh, like very chuggy riffs, but then oftentimes like more melodic stuff over top of that, potentially. Not necessarily for Mashaga. It really depends on um, what band you're talking about. Uh, Juice says Periphery 5 was so sick. Periphery 2 is so legendary, one of my faves. Both freaking awesome albums. P5 was fantastic. Wax Wings, so good. Uh, everything is Fine, so freaking heavy. Fat Drac, very good. Um, Wildfire, really good. Zagreus, really good. Yeah, P5 slays. Yes, P2, absolutely legendary. Honestly, I love every Periphery album for its own reasons. Um, I think uh, an outlier that I really love Periphery 3. Uh, I don't think that's a common sentiment. I think people think it's a fine album, but not one of their best. I also really love Juggernaut Omega. Motionless and White, very cool, very cool. Uh, Nap, slightly. I've been buying pre-cons and probably got probably the most hated tribal deck. <laughs> But you're not even playing it, so you just you just you can know that you could bring that hatred out in people anytime you want it. I'm not sure what Sarah just dropped. Um Oh thanks, Bishaw. Yeah, it's pretty neat stuff. Progenitor <laughs> strike, really. Really. Oh Dying Star is so good, Juice. Yeah, I really like Dying Star. I feel like it doesn't get enough love. People sleep on Dying Star. Way the news goes is so good. I love Mark's riffs. They're so good. I mean, that wasn't even my uh, pun naps. I have to give that one to Drake. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Jeff Loomis, another very cool, amazing virtuoso guitarist. Bruce. Uh, yeah, does he... What song does Jeff Loomis guest solo on? Is he on P2? Uh, I should really know. Oh, is he guest solo on a race car? Or maybe he doesn't guest solo at all. Are you saying that he covers it? I don't even know. Or does he guest solo on a race car? I actually don't know if I knew that. Um, let me jump on back to YouTube here. I feel like I fell way behind in YouTube chat as well. Clayton says, hey Nick, have you checked out the, or plan to check out the Fallout show? Yes. I watched the first episode and it was really good. I'm looking forward to watching more. Yo, Oddlid, I see you over on YouTube and now I see you over here on Twitch, Oddlid. Sorry, I only just got to you. Oddlid says, I'm really interested in some beers you've tried on your channel. I know the breweries are local to your area, but do you know if they are anywhere in America? If you are in the Pacific Northwest, sort of like Seattle area or thereabouts, you might be able to get some of the beers from my neck of the woods. But beyond that, probably not. Uh, I don't think they distribute, you know, beyond the, port, the Pacific Northwest. So it really depends on where you are. Oh, you meant you were talking to Drake. I gotcha. Naps, I gotcha. Uh, Bisha, I can't say I'm like a huge Mastodon fan, but I have a lot of respect for Mastodon, for sure. Uh, MKF asks uh, if I listen to Corn or Linkin Park or Disturbed, and who I think is better, Disturbed or Corn. <sighs> All that new metal was pretty formative for my musical tastes, so I definitely listened to that stuff back in the day. That new metal, Linkin Park was very much a gateway band for me to have your music as was Disturbed, actually. If I had to pick between Disturbed and Corn, I would take Disturbed, but I think Corn has a really unique place in the history of that style of music and a sound that is just so, so uh, immediately recognizable. Um, but uh, if for my personal listening, I would take Disturbed, although I've not listened to Disturbed's newer stuff, so I can't speak till the now, but their original, like the first three albums, let's say, uh, The Sickness, uh, Believe, and 10,000 Fists were all very, very solid. Uh, 
uh, Sargon, yeah, I wasn't really aiding the missus. I was more just, you know, just giving her a quick peck. Orange Slice is another random question. Can you comment on your experience with R and Python? Uh, I've used R pretty extensively. I do not uh, work in Python, so I can't really speak to Python. Um, I gather that, you know, there's a lot of uh, functional overlap between the languages in, the, uh, in terms of da data analysis, like access to, you know, a large uh, repository of packages and libraries um, for, uh, you know, doing all kinds of stuff. Um, my work in R has mostly been very, like, uh, purpose-driven, right? So, like, I have a particular data analysis question, something I need to answer. I write a script to do that. Or I've also done some coding in R to create, uh, like, graphical front ends using what they call the Shiny package, the R Shiny package, uh, which is really useful for making, like, web-based GUIs for... Uh, pretty much whatever you want to do. Uh, so, like in terms of data presentation and analysis. Orange Slice is asking about programming languages for anyone that's not sure what I'm talking about. R and Python are both popular um, programming languages for data analysis. And both commonly used in the sciences. Uh, Beanard, I'm doing well. I did have a great week. Thank you. Beanard says I'm going to sleep, so have a great rest of the stream. <laughs> All right, sleep well, Beanard. Maybe you're asleep by now already. Uh, Alpha X Ray says, uh, "Never more dead heart in a dead world." Is that what that is? Was one of my favorite albums for a while. I'm not familiar with that one, but uh, what what style is that? What kind of music? Um, I'm trying to get caught up on the chat here, y'all. <laughs> I feel like I'm struggling. I'm struggling. I promise we'll get to the game eventually. I still gotta crack open this beer and we're two hours in. This is ridiculous. Um, Oddlid, you are from Seattle. Well, then you might be able to find some stuff from some of our bigger breweries. You might have some luck uh, finding something from Driftwood. I feel like Driftwood might get some uh, some range out that way. Uh, maybe from Phillips. I bet you could find some stuff from Phillips. You might have to look a little, you know, further afield, but you might be able to get them. Six Spring asks a good question. I don't know. I don't know about the etymology of that saying. Um... Lonely Light says, you know, I need to take my own trip back up to British Columbia. We'd love to have you up here. I didn't really get to do anything when I went to, with my unit. Oh yeah, you went to that air show. Yeah, that was unfortunate that you didn't get more time to look around. Definitely, come on up, explore at your own pace. Yeah, I know you love, you know, hiking and that kind of stuff. There's so much world-class hiking here. I'm sure you would love it. Bee Wizard, welcome. Happy Sunday to you, too. Stoner Shen says, Personally, my favorite band is Lamb of God. Classic. Fantastic. Uh, Lamb of God is some extremely, uh, I don't want to say prototypical, but like, uh, like the platonic ideal of death metal in a lot of ways. Simply because I grew up listening to them and never found anyone who could replace them in my life. Uh, I have my dad to thank for that. So they've been my, his favorite ever since they were burned the priest. Very cool. My parents definitely did not get me into metal. That was something I, I found on my own. It's neat that you can share that with your dad. Uh, Lonely Light says Disturbed is a great one. Yeah, I've never been to a Disturbed show. I kind of want to go one day. 10,000 Fists goes super hard straight up oh indestructible is a solid album too you're right jake yes okay the first four albums yes the line of confusion cover on Ten Thousand fists is like way better than it has any right to be you have not missed the beer yet long light thorak i'm sorry <laughs> thorak 
I was like, oh, I had to bed. I didn't make it to the beer this time, but technically did make it to game play. <laughs> Thorik, thank you for your patience as always. I'm glad you enjoy still coming out just to chill, even if we don't get to much in the way of gameplay. You have yourself a good one, Thorak. Thanks for chilling, and we will see you soon. Sleep well. Uh, oh, Alpha X-Ray? I did not know that Jeff Loomis' band was never more. I've only ever heard his solo stuff. I literally did not know that he had a band. I just thought he was a solo artist. That's so funny. I might have to check it out then. Gosh, y'all, I think I, I think I got to the bottom of the chat more or less, but I still have a few, a few channel points requests to do. I have a posture check from GG2000 a while ago. That I can definitely do now. Oh, let's just make sure we're not, they're necking it too hard. I gotta roll those shoulders back. Thank you, GG2000. Um... GG2000 also requested beer lore, but we're just about to open the beer, so I'm just going to refund your points for that because it feels at this point like that's that, that moment has passed. Uh, I'm going to pet Evie for Creme because Creme has been waiting very patiently for that for over an hour now. So let's do that. Let's do that. Lonely Light says, oh, the hiking. I dream about taking a hike up there. Then... You should totally come and experience some of uh, just the incredible natural beauty of this province. I say that as a proud British Columbian, but also just objectively. Uh, some just, yeah, just beautiful places. I have so such good memories of uh, going around the province with my family in the summertime when I was younger, uh, just exploring um, so much of what the province has to offer. Pet the poor Evie. I know, Jen. I know. Evie's been waiting so patiently. Alright, sounds good, Lonely Light. You get comfy. Poor touch starved Evie. I know. She scritches. Scritches for Evie. Juice says, I could talk about music all day, especially knowing you like metal. Unfortunately, I gotta head out, but I'm sure I'll be back. Juice, it was really nice seeing you here. You take care, and uh, I hope we get to chat again. See you next time. Take care, Juice. All right, Evie. I'm glad you got to come up here and get some pets. I'm going to put you back there now. You can chill in the back with all your Poke friends, okay? Okay. All right. There we go. Tech Gadget, what's up? What's up? How are you doing? Tick Spring, I just realized you requested a beer lore. Wait. Were you the original beer lore request? I'm not sure. But I did the beer lore, so I'm also going to refund your points because it seems a little redundant at this point. But I will do your blood sugar check, Tick Spring. Thank you. Uh, it's kind of about where it was. It's down a little bit, 9.4, but it's coming down slowly. But uh, thank you for that check. At least it's in range now. Uh, GG2000, I will save your blood sugar check for a little bit later, but we will do that too. Uh, and I appreciate y'all helping me watch my health, take care of myself, and sage some potato topping for you. Last but not least, oh, not quite last yet, Jan has also requested that I hydrate, which I definitely need to do. Thank you. My voice is feeling a little hoarse. Probably because I was hooting and hollering too much this weekend. <laughs> At my bachelor party land party. And thank you also, Tech Gadget, for the hydration. Thank you, thank you. Goodness me. Um... You know how we do it around here. Um, Bishaw says, It's my dream to live near Port Angeles, Washington, which is not far from BC. And you can catch a boat from Port Angeles to the city where I live. It's uh, pretty quick. Well, it's like two hours or something. 
but uh, yeah, there's a direct ferry that comes uh, straight to downtown here. It's called the Coho. I've been in PA a few times. It's nice over there. I hope you make it out here sometime, Bichon. And if so, if you want to meet up, it's easy. I can come on by, or you can come on over here. That'd be sweet. Uh, Stoner Shen says, so many people love the state I call home. Uh, where is that for you, Stoner Shen? What? <laughs> what the heck? What? How am I supposed to? What? <laughs> Holy smokes. That was a lot of subs. That's 20 subity dooms. Good lord, naps. Holy smokes. Ah, uh, naps, thank you. Thank you for that sub bomb. Wow. Uh, that is, it's your lucky night to chat because a whole bunch of you, 20 of you, to be precise, <laughs> just got gifted subs by Serene Naps. I think Naps maybe just doesn't want me to play the game. Naps is delaying. That's what I'm, that's what I'm guessing. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I need some water after that. My word. I say. I do declare. <laughs> Holy smokes, let's see those taters in the chat, y'all. Uh, now that another 20 of you have them. Serene Naps has just gifted subs to Lost in Belarus. Room 215. Level-headed Dro... Or level-headed Roger. Why am I struggling? Spear Dusk. Gravy official, Skively Lemons, Handsome Dashing Princess, Bakery Bakes, Kirijo Takeharu, QQ Luck, a DX Razy, what's up DX, Cold Hunter, Blasian Titan Nation, Ayo Mei Mei, Demon Sacrifice, Abyss Revival, Elkond D. Sugoi Seth. That's Sugoi Seth. I don't know. I'm really struggling to read tonight, you guys. I'm just going to keep blaming the lack of sleep. Sugoi Seth. Chocolate Chip Wookie. That's a fantastic name. I love it. And Ground Level News. Ah, uh, holy smokes. That's freaking epic. Holy smokes, Naps. Uh, all 20 of you, welcome on into the sub club. <laughs> welcome on in. That's most deserving of some tater tapping. And those who were just gifted those subs, I do sincerely hope that you enjoy your subscription benefits, including access to all of our fun emotes here, uh, ad-free viewing, uh, faster channel point gain, and the satisfaction of being in our potato pals. Uh, and that was gifted to you so very kindly by the one and only Serene Naps. The one and only Naps says, I'm back, baby. <laughs> Naps, that is so, so too kind. That is so too kind. But, uh, I'm very, very thankful for that. Thank you, Naps. That was incredibly generous. And then, as if that is not enough, the bad lad with the tier three sub, the tier three sub for a 41 month resub. Holy smokeless. You know, the tier three sub does get you something pretty special. Naps, you wanna, you wanna flash that in the chat? Oh, you already did. <laughs> the one and only golden potato emote. Well deserved, well deserved. And uh, looking mighty fine in the chat there. Naps, I all I can say is thank you so much, man. <laughs> thank you so much. It is extremely, extremely kind. Uh, and deeply appreciated by myself and so many others here. Uh, thank you for 
doing so very much to just get the hype here to you know strengthen and invite people in here uh so what am i trying to say strength <laughs> usually i anyway my words my words are failing me tonight but uh super kind thank you again naps uh and also a really kind sub from lonely light lonely light gifting a sub to jen jen welcome back on into the sub club it is so wonderful to have you back too and lonely light that is really kind of you to give that sub to jen uh it's so nice to see her back and it's wonderful to have her in the potato pals tonight as well as well Lonely Light, super swell of you. Thank you. Thank you for that. Um, wow. That was a lot of excitement. That was a lot of excitement. I was not expecting that. Over in YouTube land, I don't want to be ignoring YouTube land. MKF says, cool, Nick. Nice answer. I'm glad I got other talking music. <laughs> Absolutely. Are you into any old school stuff like the Beatles uh, or the Stones? Uh, I have a soft spot for the Beatles. My mom uh, is a diehard Beatles fan. I used to play them all the time. Um, and so, uh, yes, uh, I I wouldn't say I like seek out Beatles music an awful lot, but uh, I really appreciate the Beatles and I'm always happy to hear the Beatles. Uh, when I was a kid, there were a few of us uh, in my elementary school who really loved the Beatles and we would always uh pretend to like be the Beatles on the playground we would like we'd each pretend to be a member of the band I'd often end up being Ringo like up on the drums um and we'd just like air guitar and like air drum and just sing Beatles songs I'm sure the teachers thought it was the funniest thing but yeah absolutely Doozy the Doctor says, uh, just hopped in, so I don't know how Nevermore was brought up, but Loomis's guest solo on Periphery Song Race Car is my favorite solo of all time. We were literally just talking about that. Doozy the Doctor. We were talking, I don't know how much you caught, but we were talking about Periphery. We were talking about Loomis. Uh, yeah, absolutely. A race car is also a hell of a song. I freaking love Periphery. And, uh, but I was just saying, I was only familiar with Jeff Loomis's solo stuff. So, but I should check out Nevermore. And look who it is in the chat, C-Mats. C-Mats, I don't know if you're still there. <laughs> it's good to see you. Are, are you kidding me? You gotta be kidding me. No way. No way what? No way what? <laughs> you are still here. No way you're still here. Welcome, c -Mats. It's good to see you. Uh, I hope you're having a fantastic uh, Sunday night, c -Mats. Um, Jumping back into Twitch chat here. Nice call on the rain, whoever summoned the rain. breaths, right? Just hyperventilate over here. Bishaw says, Nick, I love that about the Beatles, one of my favorite bands ever. I don't listen to them as much anymore, but I love them. That's rad. That's rad. I mean, arguably the greatest band of all time. Many people would argue that, I think. Lovely like you are Poseidon, you bring the rain. Hey, Johanna, welcome. Beatles ASMR win. <laughs> you want me to try and do a role play? <laughs> Very challenging. I'll just get like a good old, like a mop top wig. Uh, Johanna, I hope you're doing great. It's good to see you here. Bisha. Bisha coming back on in for month number three. Bisha, thank you for your, your kind resub, your continued kindness and generosity. I hope you continue to enjoy your subscription benefits and I hope you enjoy your new sub badge 
for your three month there. Yeah, I love the rain effects too, Jen. I do. Bruce says the dope thing about Nevermore was that they had two virtuoso guitarists, Jeff Lemus and Chris Broderick, who went on to be lead guitarists for Megadeth for some years. I also did not know that. How have I never listened to Nevermore? How have I... It's so weird that I've not come across their stuff. Wow, you guys. Um, I still haven't opened the beer yet. I'm going to do that before it gets any later. This is getting unreal. But first, I'm hydrating with this healthy, pure water as requested by Tech Gadget and Jen. That's the stuff. That's the stuff. Okay. Uh, Naps, I see a request for a random MTG card. We have one card left, I believe, from this pack. Yeah, one card left. This is the last card from this uh, Lord of the Rings uh, Tales of Middle Earth pack. Why don't we go right now? Just for you. Just for you. All right. This was a, a, a set booster. So this could be pretty much anything. Could be foil. Could be mythic wear. We don't know. Could also just be nothing. We'll find out right now. Da 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 da. Boom. Hmm. It's an uncommon reprieve. Two mana white instant. Turn target, spell to its owner's hand, and draw a card. As Faramir and Eowyn stood so, their hands met and clasped, though they did not know it. There you go. And that is uh, the last of my set boosters from that, that set. Don't think I have any more. Actually, I shouldn't say that. I might have a couple left in the drawer. I should check. I should check. But that's all I have right here, right now. Right here, right now. Thank you for the request, Naps. All right, y'all. Beer. Beer. Y'all might know I enjoy beer. <laughs> and, um, as I said earlier, uh, I was doing the bachelor party thing this weekend. I had quite a bit of beer this weekend. I thought about not having a beer with tonight's stream, but it didn't seem right to not have the beer with the stream. And so uh, and instead I just opted for a, a nice, refreshing, light uh, a raspberry mango sour. This is a great fruity sour from uh, a brewery I really enjoy, Salt Spring Brewing. And um, yeah, they're just not far from here on a little island off the coast of my bigger island that uh, I live on and uh, I did read this out earlier for the beer lower request but I'll read it again in case you're here since then this kettle sour is made with a generous amount of raspberry and mango fruits fermented with a secret cocktail of lactobacillus the result is a deliciously crafted sour beer perfectly balancing both acidity and fruitiness and it is indeed a really juicy one it's a nice juicy beer you can really taste the raspberry on this one so if you're looking for a beer that is not that beer like this is a great one <laughs> it's a really great summer beer but i just wanted something light for tonight so that's what i'm gonna crack open right here right now i'm gonna quickly mute while i uh readjust the mics one moment Go. 
I can smell the raspberry already. So juicy. This one's really delish. It's a great summery beer. It's not foam. So foamy. Johanna says I got a call that woke me up had a fight, now I can't sleep again. I'm sorry to hear it. Hoping for the best will be again here. Well, I think you know what to expect here by now, so hopefully, hopefully the good vibes, the awesome people here, we can help you, you know, stay grounded, calm, you know, and uh, hopefully you can enjoy the vibes. Hopefully it helps. Um, anyway, because this is a sour, that, uh, foam all receded quite quickly, but, uh, look at the beautiful color on this beer, this gorgeous ruby red, isn't it lovely? It is a lovely looking and tasting beer. Uh, tonight... We've been talking a lot about music in the last little bit, haven't we? So let's toast uh, toast those amazing folks who create the music that we love, the music that moves us, uh, that makes us uh, feel, uh, allows us to relate to one another in new and awesome ways, uh, that reminds us of uh, times past. Um, yeah, here's to, here's to the musicians. Cheers, friends. Just back the mics one moment. All righty. And with that, I think it's time we actually played a little bit of sky. <laughs> a casual two and a half hours into the stream, you know? Holy smokes. It has been one of those streams for sure. For sure. Uh, I think I missed what I missed here. Lonely Light says, It occurs to me daily that there are thousands of songs even better than my favorites out there waiting for me to find them. It's true. That's like a really actually awesome way to look at it. I love that. You just gotta find them. And, and find them you will. And there's new amazing songs being made all the time too. Stonishan says, How do you take such soft, quiet sips? It genuinely baffles me. I don't know. I've not really thought about my sipping technique. I have to be honest. I just kind of do it. Attractive, you got stuck in traffic. It took you two hours to get home. And you made it in time for the beer pour. It's like it was meant to be. Well, welcome back. I'm sorry your, your uh, drive was so ridiculous. That sounds awful. But, welcome. Welcome back. <laughs> the beer pour melted your brain, Lonely Light. I'm glad. Nap says, I wonder if there's a way I can get my hand on one of those beers. Well, not legally, necessarily, but we could maybe try to figure out something. Is this incriminating evidence? Um, 
yeah, technically sending beer across international borders, not legal to the best of my understanding. I've heard some people say that sometimes you can get away with it if you label them as yeast samples and the customs agents will sort of turn a blind eye, especially if it's not a large volume. But technically, I don't think you're supposed to do it. I would love to be able to share our beers from around here with more of you people and similarly be able to try beers from where you're at if you wanted to send some I'd always you know I'd love to try them but it's just uh, unfortunately does not seem possible unfortunately it's raining beer that would be very messy and actually not that great it maybe sounds wonderful but I think it'd be pretty gross it'd get really stinky really quick Yep. Stoner Shin says, I believe it was a bad idea to take a shot when we're supposed to be drinking beer, but well, whatever, you do you. <laughs> Loading queue. It's supposed to be Skyrim, but um, I've not been playing it. We've just been standing here chatting for the last two and a half hours, pretty much. But yes, it is Skyrim. We are, once again out on the island of Worm's Tooth, and uh, I thought it would be nice to finish exploring on the island of Worm's Tooth before we head back to the mainland. There's a little bit more to see here, so let's go. Let's go for a little adventure. Orange Slice says, may I have a recommendation in terms of massive creativity and messaging? If I like System of a Down, I might also like... Are you looking or thinking of uh, looking for something that's political in that way? Uh, oops, what am I doing? Uh, there we go. This is now more warning. Uh, I see the worshippers of Talos here. And uh, Thalmor do not like that, despite the fact that we're very far away from the mainland. And they did, in fact, destroy the statue of Talos. Huh. Um, other bands that are extremely creative, politically minded, are you looking for heavy bands? Like in the vein of System of a Down? Also clever with time signature and such. Ah. What do you think, guys? Um, a lot of metal bands are often pretty political. Certainly can be. Um... Try to think of other bands that sound kind of like System. They have a very unique sound. <clears throat> um, Rage Against the Machine. Yeah, potentially Rage Against the Machine. Yeah, you're right. There's definitely a uh, similarity there. I would say... Yeah, I, certainly they're worth checking out. I, I mean, if you're thinking political bands, then yes, Rage Against the Machine is a great pick, for sure. Rage Against Butt Spot. <laughs> Wait, is it Butt Spot? Just butt your butt spot? <laughs> what just happened? Amazing Butt Spot. Amazing. Butt Spot best timing straight up, though. Unbelievable. Cheers, Jen. You're not late. It's all good. Oh, dear Rob, a happy Sunday to you. Welcome on in. You think corn is similar? I guess. I mean, they they were both new metal. Yeah, I'm having like a strangely hard time coming up with good recommendations here. Um. Especially when you consider... Oh, not empty. Um, 
is that a lot of metal bands do tend to be or can be fairly political. Do we? Oh yeah, we did go in there. Oh, oh that horror scared the crap out of me. Uh, anybody else have any other thoughts, suggestions for System of a Down like bands that are heavy and political? We've had a Rage Against the Machine, Corn. I don't. I'm sure Corn can be political. I would say the Corn that I've listened to is not especially, but. Honestly, Disturbed actually can be quite political. They're not quite as, uh, I don't know, they have a different sound, a more buttoned up, like a tighter kind of sound than System, but you still might enjoy them. What just happened? Whoa, 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 why are we, why, why did you guys just viciously murder the Horker? That's so rude. That seems so unnecessary. spot is savage absolutely savage yo drake drake says all right man i'm gonna head to bed have a great rest of your stream catch you later good night everyone good night drake yo let me know when you've got more of that uh majora's mask remix i'd be happy to hear more of it uh drake in addition to being a talented asm artist an all-around fantastic guy he's also a super talented uh, D DJ? I don't, I don't know, maybe DJ is not the right word. M mixer? Producer? I don't know. <laughs> he produces music, song, songwriter? He writes music? He remixes music? I'm trying to think what the terminology is. Anyway, producer works. Musician? Yeah, sure, we'll go with that. <laughs> I don't know why I'm struggling. Um, but yes, music, music guy. Uh, and he shared with me a fantastic uh, Majora's Mask remix the other day, which is uh, absolutely slaps. And he was saying he kind of wanted to do a full album like that, so uh, I would absolutely love to check that out. And uh, I hope it is something you do, my friend. Um, I don't know if he's on Spotify, but he does have a band camp. He does have a band camp. Um, thank you, Karsho. Uh, also, while I'm at it here, let me shout out Drake. Oh, apparently he is also on Spotify. I, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> what do I know? Uh, just, and that's his Twitch. You already knew that, but you can find it there anyway. Y'all go hit that follow. Oh god, that seems threatening. Like, I'm like, y'all go hit that follow. If you don't, I will may ruins a razor you. Also, this is a very large crab. I'm glad it appears to be dead. Wait, what? Oh, what are we fighting? Oh, a random frost troll? A ghostly frost troll? What the heck? What's going on out here? This is a weird spot. And what's all this? What's all this back here? Friend or foe? Friend, I guess. Oh, no. Nope. Foe. Eh, get back here. Okay, never mind. Yeah, you have a good night, Drake. Sleep well. Have a fantastic week. Thanks for being here. Can we get a big, big, big old thank you for Drake also? Uh, one of our amazing moderators. Keep an eye on the chat. We appreciate you, Drake. Peak Skyrim. Oh, what, what are we fighting? Also, I reckon I can probably, oops, pardon me, turn off the slow mode at this point. Finally. Finally. You're free now. Be free. <laughs> Enjoy your freedom. 
Uh, MKF asks if I ever got into Nirvana, Bush, or Nine Inch Nails at all. Um, a little bit. Uh, Nirvana just in a fairly superficial way, but, you know, their hits I enjoy. Uh, Bush never did. Uh, Nine Inch Nails I also quite enjoy. Uh, and I also had, uh, what the frick was that? Did that plant just light me on fire? Yo! Oh, <laughs> it's, just, it's this. It's like, what's that? Um, I saw Nine Inch Nails live some years back as well, which is also very cool. Krakow Visa Storehouse? Crake, Crake Visa? Or the Minute? I have no idea what this place is, but I'm guessing it's Necromancers. I'm guessing it's Necromancers. Judging by the necromancer that we murdered over here. Um, well, I'm just, I don't know if any of those suggestions help you, but uh, there's a few from the chat at least. Maybe some places to start looking. I wish I could come up with a better suggestion, but nothing's coming to the top of my head. I'll think on it though. Tech Stomper, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh gosh. Oh, hello. <laughs> he goes just sliding around. What is this place? What is happening? Look at that boy slide. And he goes, got the moves. Watch him go. <laughs> oh, wait, that's not Inigo. That's Karjo. My mistake. And he goes up here murdering necromancers. Karjo is the one that's got the slide. Watch him. It's great. Come on down, Karjo. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Oh, sorry there, Apprentice Storm Mage. Nothing worth taking. Um... You know, Stone Shen, I thought about Tool. Oh, well, yeah. So Tool, I want to say a lot of their stuff is a little more... It is, like, socially motivated. And sometimes politically as well, I guess. But if you want a real political uh, band, uh, perfect, a perfect circle uh, is actually a really great pick there. Speaking of Maynard James Keenan, um, not heavy like System of a Down, but uh, really good in its own way. A Perfect Circle is, is quite excellent. So that's another strong uh, recommendation, I would say. Uh, but I do love Tool. And I've seen them a few times live. Yes, in you go. Can I help you? Emerald. Ooh, mead. Oh, the mead. Ah. Uh, Lonely Light says, well, since we've made it to the gameplay, I'll hop on the bandwagon and head to sleep. Don't you worry, I'll still be lurking for the relaxation and good vibes while I sleep. As always, I'm very happy to have been here tonight. Everybody, enjoy the week ahead. Same to you, my friend. Hey, thank you. Ah, the wedding planning is it's going okay. It's, you know, it's a little stressful, but it's its working out. It's coming together. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you for being here. Thank you for just being such an awesome part of this community. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, and I know others here really, really do too. Have a fantastic sleep, a fantastic week. And uh, we will see you next time, I hope. I hope. But uh, sleep well, my friend. Um, I feel like this must be a... What the frick? Miko, what's wrong with you, boy? What, what has happened to all of my... 
Miko seems like really perturbed by this painting. What is happening here? Oh, it's Dark Brother and stuff. I guess, maybe. Yeah, we have this storm mage here. Not sure what that's about. I'm getting out of here. This place gives me the creeps. I don't like it at all. Let's go. He smells something, he really does. Text on says I found a new art ASMR game. It's called. It's called. Once Human. Ironically, it's a horror game, but it's also open world, and the sound design is beautiful. Chopping down trees and the rain and nature sounds. It is not an ASMR game, but it has ASMR moments. Interesting. I'll have to look into it. Never heard of it before. Once Human. Thanks for letting me know about it, Tech Stomper. That definitely sounds like it'd be cool to check out. Jeremiah, hello. Jeremiah says, I just discovered you recently from Let's Find Out ASMR. Oh, yo. Shout out to Let's Find Out. It's been ages since I talked to Let's Find Out, but Jeremiah says, he ranked you in his top 10 ASMR and I've been binging your Elder Scrolls videos. Yo. Uh, that's really kind of him. Uh, shout out to Let's Find Out ASMR. I'm sure many of you know uh, of his uh, channel and his content, uh, but so much fantastic stuff, some really amazing educational ASMR over there, some really beautiful old books and things like that. Let's Find Out ASMR, some top quality uh, ASMR, um, and has been doing this for a very long time as well. Uh, so if you're not subscribed, definitely go check him out. Jeremiah, I'm glad that you found the channel, and it's great to have you here. Jeremiah says, I love Skyrim and I love ASMR. Well, I hope you've been enjoying those videos here on the streams. It's a little less chill in that we're like, I'm playing the game rather than just wandering in Skyrim, but we still aim for the chill vibes. It's all about just hanging out. Good games, good friends, good vibes. So I appreciate you stopping in, Jeremiah. Uh, Tech Stomper, I will definitely have to check that out. In fact, I'm going to search it right now. It's called Once Human. I'm just going to, oops, keep doing that. I'm going to Google it uh, so I can check it out later. Is this a survival game? Okay. Very cool. Yeah, it's on Steam. It looks spooky. But I'll definitely, I'll definitely check it out. I just wanted to close beta. Okay. Ah, it's like an early access thing right now. Yeah, let's find out ASMR is incredible. Void Kitty Cat says, I'm playing Once Human right now and it's so addicting. Huh, I had not heard of this game before. I think I'm freezing to death also in the in Skyrim. <laughs> let's uh let's go in here. Maybe it'll be warmer. There'll probably be some murder in here. Willing to bet. Willing to bet. Whoa! What is going on here? Oh no, Miko's still broken here. Miko, are you okay, boy? <laughs> you smell something, boy? Security concerns and a dead storm cloak. What is going on in here? Ever since Arnbor was eaten by wolves, we've been short a guard. I know we're running out of gold, so hiring a new doorman may not be an option. But can't Silva charm under the vigilance again? She is an illusionist, after all. Right now, a vampire could just waltz right in through the front door. Fingar the Inflamed. Okay. What is going on here? Oh. Ice mage, okay. <laughs> did he go to show get the Miko? Oh Marty. Okay, right. Just gonna let my crew do their thing, you know. Do the murder as they do. Oh, 
hell breaking loose here. Karjo is still floating around. What is going on out here? Karjo is just sliding still. I hear a lot of violence, but I'm not quite sure where it's occurring. Oh, maybe over here, I guess. Now I have, can you move please? Pardon me, excuse me. <laughs> wow, this is uh, awkward. My summoned bad guy corpse won't let me pass. Am I gonna have to re-kill this bad guy corpse? Yo, Jeremiah, thank you so much for the super chat. That's <laughs> extremely kind of you. Jeremiah says, I'm interested in the lore. I heard you say there are like hundreds of books. Yeah, there's so many books in the Elder Scrolls. Is there anywhere good to start? Well, if you're looking for an online repository with all of the books, the Imperial Library is the place to go, uh, which is a website that just has all of the books. Why are we still in combat? Sorry, I'm getting a little sick of the combat music blaring in the background here. I'm trying to figure out where where the enemy is that's keeping us in combat. Are you a friend? <laughs> You're one of my summoned bad guys. This is ridiculous. I just want the music to chill. Oh, there we go. Did you know just call me an ugly fool? Master Necromancer? Not no more. Nope. Oh. for me have now collapsed back into death. Whew, that was intense. Uh, yeah, the Imperial Library is a great place to start, but in terms of like which books to start with, um, well, if you're interested in ASMR versions of some of those books, I do have readings of a number of Skyrim books on the channel. I have some that I do in-game, and we read through the book. I also have some where uh, I actually have uh, physical copies of uh, the Skyrim libraries and I page through those and you can, you know, uh, and we, I read a few different uh, stories out of those. So maybe, you know, those are some of my personal favorites, the ones that uh, we look at there. Perhaps that would be a good place for you to dip your toes in. But the, uh, the lore of the Elder Scrolls is outrageously insanely deep you're totally right though naps <laughs> Karja sliding around was very threatening you are correct uh, thank you again for that super chat Jeremiah that was really really kind and I do hope you enjoy uh, those readings if you go check them out yeah, some of the ones that I've done on the channel. I did Avar Stonesinger. I did The Last Scabbard of Akrash. Uh, I did a lot of spooky books with my Halloween ASMR Skyrim videos. Some of those might be fun for you. Um, the Woodcutter's Wife. Uh, things like that. Um, yeah, those are all good ones. Uh... Loading Q says, you know, why does everyone have to go around just trying to kill you the moment they see you? How about, how are you, or how was your day? But no, it's always straight to the stabby stabby. I assume it's because they're bad guys. They're bad guys. So that's what they do. They stab. Uh, they just don't make bad just like they used to. Our 
attractive asks if we're planning a honeymoon. Yeah, but probably not right away. We don't actually have anything booked or planned right now. We're so focused on the wedding. Um, but later in the year, uh, yeah, we want to do something, go somewhere. I think immediately after the wedding, well, not immediately, but like probably later in May, or maybe early June, we're going to take a long weekend away somewhere. Not super far away, but just somewhere to decompress for a few days. Um, but then like later on in the year, then we would like to go on a more substantial trip somewhere. So that's the plan. Anyway, we do have a friend, uh, a very close friend that is getting married in England in November. So there's a possibility we might go and do that. And we might try and roll that into some kind of uh, honeymoon situation. Or maybe not. Maybe we'll go somewhere else for a honeymoon. We would love to go to England for this wedding, though. It's not a sure thing yet, though. Loading queue, thank you for the follow, by the way. I appreciate that very much. Charles King says, guys, I've never played Fallout. All the games plus their DLC is on Steam for 55 bucks. Uh, is that like literally like Fallout 1 through 4 plus all the DLC? The first two Fallout games are pretty different. You know, they are made by uh, Interplay, I guess, back in the day. Is that right? Uh, that was before Bethesda took over the series. Then Fallout 3 and New Vegas and 4 and 76 are kind of a different thing. Um, but I don't know, 55 bucks for like literally all the Fallout uh, does not sound like a bad, oops, uh, bad deal at all. You're a big fan of, uh, you're a big fan of, uh, let's find out ASMR. Yes, lots of really, really cool educational space ASMR for sure. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with Carjo and Miko and those guys. It's a little concerning. Hey, oh, it's Anna. Hey, Anna. <laughs> Welcome. How you doing? Welcome on in. Um, blue mana battery. I put who to sleep. All these, or the guy I stabbed. Yeah, it was a sleepy stab. Just stabbed him right to sleep. I really don't know what this place is supposed to be. It's kind of big and confusing. Oh, uh, flame atronach. Okay, just chilling. No, that's not what that was supposed to be. Wait, what? When did I change my spell? I just want... There we go. That's what I wanted. Watch more light on the scene. I really don't know where I'm going. Miko, what's the matter with you, boy? <laughs> this is really concerning. I don't think he's okay, you guys. I don't think Miko's okay. White... Beard or a white bear or DBH. I'm not sure. I'll go with white beard. Uh, oh, hey, it's Jeremiah. Uh, yo, Jeremiah, thank you for dropping on over here on Twitch. I appreciate the follow. The chat over here tends to be a little bit more lively, uh, but the YouTube uh, is an awesome place to chill too, wherever you prefer. Uh, but it's nice to have you in both chats, and I appreciate the support. Miko looks like he's been stuffed. I don't like this at all. Poor Miko. Does he slide? I want to see if he slides around. Can you guys move? I want to watch my dog slide. Miko, where, where are you at, bud? That's even creepier. It's like he just teleports or something. <laughs> Because he's not moving. Miko. Miko. Uh, I'm 
we're just gonna get out of here. Oh my god, speaking of books, oh my god, look at all these books. So many books. Oh, I could read books in here forever. Do you guys want to read a book? We could end the stream by reading a book. So my spell tomes here too. Just step over the corpses, don't mind them. There's cool books to read. <laughs> Azura and the Box. I've never read that one before. Songs of the Eskeldmen. Uh, I'm not familiar with a lot of these. Cold and the Dragon, I think I've read that one. Neepsy, I do not have a pet. I wish I did. I grew up with cats. I love kitty cats. Sarah grew up with dogs. We'd like to get both a cat and a dog. But we have not had the opportunity to do so. But uh, we would love to. Um, my parents do have two kitty cats though. And I course whenever I go to visit my parents get to visit the kitties too uh, I was gonna try to find a cute picture it was my dad's birthday a little while ago so we were over there oh this is such a cute picture this is Ollie he loves bags and uh, we got a takeout so we had paper bags you guys want to see Ollie look at that boy he's so cute He's a pretty boy and he knows it. Plays in his bag. Isn't he beautiful? He's got the key, the, like the Disney eyes. And a floofy tail, little white mittens. He's such a cute patootie. That's Ollie. Um, oh, your message got caught by the auto mod there, Anna. Let me fix that for you. Uh, Bolos, hello. Welcome on in. Anna said, I think I must have had a nightmare or something because I've got major creeps right now. Just trying to chill myself out. Well, as you know, you've come to the right place. Why don't you hang out with us and we'll read a, read a Skyrim book. Stone Shen, you've got a cat. Did you just acquire this cat just now? Yeah, Fallout has very strong lore. For sure, Bruce, as well. Loading Q says, Imagine spending your whole life studying your ass off to, uh, to raise the title of master, to die to a man with a tiny knife and fancy underwear. <laughs> hey, first of all, uh, I, I don't know, I feel like uh, Mittens is actually pretty intimidating these days. If I ran into this this Khajiit randomly, I would believe he could probably murder me. <laughs> I mean, I would, I'd have a lot of other questions, but you know. <laughs> uh, so oh, you have five cats and one just decided to hop onto the bed with you. I understand. Well, please ensure that that cat gets adequate pets from us. Uh, I think Neemzy just requested a dad joke. Absolutely. Oh, and a blood sugar check a little while ago. Let's do that. Let's see if it's come down and I'll always got to monitor my blood glucose. Yeah, so now it's down. It's at 8.4, which is solidly within range. Still slightly higher than I'd like, but not too bad. Thank you for that check, Neemzy. All right, dad jokes, dad jokes, dad jokes. Um, some of these are so bad, so bad. I don't even understand some of these. I don't understand. These are really awful. Okay, we're going to a different website. These, these are too bad for me. I can't even handle them. Uh, 
out. Let's go elsewhere. I think we've been to this one before, but I'm sure we can find There's 225 of them on this website. Surely some of them will be okay. Okay, this one's dumb, but it's, it's pretty all right. Why was the traffic light late to work? Because it took too long to change. Why did the deer go to the dentist? Because it had buck teeth. I wonder where the term buck teeth actually comes from. Buck tooth. Uh, what does a painter do when he gets cold? He puts on another coat. All right, I think that's about enough of that for tonight. Or for now, anyway. Uh, Orange Slice in the YouTube chat says, Thank you for the Rex. I'll get started with Disturbed in the first four albums of Periphery. Yeah, I mean, Periphery is uh, amazing. Uh, not often super political, but again, somewhat socially minded. Uh, you know, in, in a lot of their music. Um, a lot is very introspective. Um, and you might enjoy Periphery for sure. Uh, I, I think they're fantastic, so. Um, Periphery 2 is a wonderful place to get a sense of, of their style. Um, and Periphery 5 is their latest album, so. Uh, Alpha and Omega is an incredible two-album concept pair uh, that covers a whole wide range of styles. Uh, maybe dive into that a little after once you've got a sense of um, their, uh, their style. I don't know, Karja's still floating ominously. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, Anna says, this is where I usually go when I have nightmares. For whatever reason, I always have them on Sunday nights. Wait, is there correlation? Are we giving you nightmares? I sure hope not. I sure hope not. Uh, Orange Slice also asked, may we know how uh, you and your fiancé met? Uh, yeah, we met in high school. <laughs> we met in high school. A very long time ago. Yeah. A very long time ago. Uh, Yerda wears Heelys. Yerda wears Heelys. Got it. <laughs> Took me a second to, to parse. Your to wear Sealy says, I love watching these streams, though I watch them whilst I work, as they help me focus. I'm in the UK and it's 8.50 a.m. I'm glad that they help you. That's really cool that they're something that you can listen to at work and then they hopefully make you feel a little more productive or focused. Uh, I hope you're having a great morning. I appreciate you being here. Um, Whitebeard, I don't partake myself, uh, but I have no qualms, uh, with those who do. So, yeah, generally, I suppose. And it says, I always like joining on later in the streams because there'll only be like three or so people chatting. Yeah, it's true. And then by this point in the stream, I think a lot of people have dozed off. And, uh, and it's, you know, the chat has calmed down a little bit. You don't have to wait quite so long for me to get to your message. <laughs> then, you know, 10 or 15 minutes for me to finally read what you say in the earlier parts of the streams. Meanwhile, Butts bought out there choosing violence. <laughs> Butts bot has been... Absolutely savage tonight. Also, we're just getting these random invasions of scamps from Anna and Jen. Okay, let's just pick a book and read it. Let's pick... Hmm. What do you think? Myths of Shigorath. Could be a fun one. How long is it? 
or kind of messed up could be kind of messed up too it's also pretty long okay yeah maybe not that one uh Fall of the Snow Prince? I don't know that one. Try to find one that's not going to be 10,000 years long. Okay, this one might be interesting. Sounds like a, an interesting lore piece. The Fall of the Snow Prince. An account of the Battle of the Mosring as transcribed by Lokheim, chronicler to the chieftain Inkyalder White Eye. Alright. <laughs> and on Butt Spot, sworn enemies. These days, yeah, White Bear, or White Beard, <laughs> why keep calling Kelly White Bear? Uh, these days I'm only streaming Sunday nights, uh, when I'm less busy, uh, I tend to stream Thursday nights and Sunday nights, so twice a week, um, but right now it's just down to once a week, it's what I can manage, wish I could do more, but Sunday evenings starting around 9.30pm Pacific time, usually. <laughs> Jen says, I will never calm down. As long as there are scamps to be scamped. Ah, uh, Stoner Shen says, Nick, you are a man of science. Do you believe in anything spiritual or even paranormal? Um, that's a complicated one, and I don't necessarily want to like get super into it here because I don't really want to be, you know, <laughs> I don't like to challenge the beliefs of others unless I think there's like a good reason to but me personally I well I've had different thoughts about things over the course of my life you know as many people have that's a very broad statement <laughs> um but I I have personally never experienced anything that I would describe as paranormal uh, and while I like the idea of uh, spirituality or something, you know, beyond, uh, you know, the, the physical universe that we see around us, I personally have never seen or experienced any evidence to suggest that, that there is or that there would be. So in my life and in my perspective, you know, I believe we in the universe around us are made of the elements that we understand, that we can quantify and, and measure, uh, and all of that comes together in, uh, you know, many beautiful and moving ways, but not necessarily ways that are uh, supernatural. I don't know. I don't know if that's a satisfactory answer. Uh, in a nutshell, I guess the answer is no. I don't believe in it spiritual or paranormal things but but I've always been the kind to say prevent you know present me compelling evidence of something or another and I will certainly take it seriously I think yeah I don't know um but everybody has their own experiences in life that have led them to where they are and the beliefs they have, so. Oh, both in that you are scientific, but you also believe in the paranormal and spiritual stuff. I understand, okay. I mean, that's cool too. Uh, I just, my, my path and my experience and my learning has not led me there. Why are we talking about tornadoes all of a sudden? Oh, Kentucky. I see. That's where you're at, Whitebeard. Jen says, I spent all my points on scamps today. Zero regrets. <laughs> that's a 
That's a good day. That is points well spent. Nabzi says, I wish I could fist bump an all-powerful deity. Sure. I would love for there to be more out there. That's my thing, right? I would love for there to be something. I don't know. It just it would be fascinating, right? But in my you know, in my understanding of the world, the universe, and in my experience, I just have not seen or experienced anything to suggest that. <laughs> but I, I, it would be cool if there was. White beard, you're saving your stream points for the alluring years. <laughs> An all-time classic. I hope that when you eventually get there, that it's it's worth it. It's worth the saving up. All right. Um, okay. Let's read a bit of this book here. From whence he came, we did not know. But into the battle he rode on a brilliant steed of pallid white. Elf, we called him, for elf he was. Yet unlike any other of his kind, we had never seen before that day. His spear and armor bore the radiant and terrible glow of unknown magicka, and so adorned this unknown rider seemed more white than warrior. What troubled, nay, frightened us most, was that moment, or at that moment, was the call that rose from the elven ranks. It was not fear, not wonder, but an unabashed and unbridled joy, the kind of felicity felt by a damned man who has been granted a second chance in life. For at that time the elves were as damned and near death as ever they had been during the great skirmishes of Solstheim. The Battle of the Mosring was to be the final stand between Nord and Elf, on our fair island. Led by Iskramor, we had driven the elven scourge from Skyrim, and were intent on cleansing Solstheim of their kind as well. Our warriors, armed with the finest axes and swords Nord craftsmanship could forge, cut great swaths through the enemy ranks. The slopes of the Mosring ran red with elf blood, why, then, would our foe rejoice? Could one rider bring such hope to an army so hopeless? To most of our kind, the meaning of the call was clear. But the words were but a litany of elven chants and cries. There were some among us, however, the scholars and chroniclers, who knew well the words and shuddered at their significance. The Snow Prince is come. Doom is at hand. This is good so far. There was then a great calm that overcame the elves that still stood. Through their mass the Snow Prince did ride, and as a longboat slices the icy waters of the Fjelding, he parted the ranks of his kin. The magnificent white horse slowed to a gallop, then a trot, and then the unknown elf rider moved to the front of the line at a slow, almost ghost-like pace. An ord warrior sees much in a, uh, a life of bloodshed and battle, and is rarely surprised by anything armed combat may bring. But few among us that day could have imagined the awe and uncertainty of a raging battlefield that all at once went motionless and silent. Such is the effect the Snow Prince had on us all. For when the joyous cries of the elves had ended, there remained a quiet known only in the solitude of slumber. It was then our combined host, elf and Nord alike, were joined in a terrible understanding. Victory or defeat mattered little that day on the slopes of the Mosring Mountains. The one truth we all shared was that death would come to many that day, victor and vanquished alike. 
the glorious snow prince, an elf unlike any other, did come that day to bring death to our kind, and death he so brought. Spooky. Very spooky. And Daps has requested another MTG card opening. I'm going to have to open a new pack. I'll have to go see what I can find. We'll do that after after we finish the book. How about? If you don't mind. Just waiting for a few minutes. Stoner Shen said, I only believe in anything paranormal because I've experienced it multiple times. I just like getting different opinions because up until a few years ago, I was an absolute skeptic. Interesting. And if I had experienced something paranormal firsthand multiple times, I would probably feel differently about it as well. I can only draw conclusions based on the evidence of what I see and experience or from the authority of those that I trust, you know, through methods that I trust, right? And so, you know, but firsthand experiences are pretty compelling. So <laughs> I imagine I would feel differently if I had had such experiences myself. Yeah, that's fair, Nebsy. I think in some ways saying that we understand so little is a li is underselling our understanding a little bit. Like, we do understand a whole lot about the nature of matter and energy and physics and chemistry at the spatial scales and time scales and energy levels that we inhabit. So, you know, <laughs> the kinds of levels that you might encounter in an everyday scenario right? There's a lot we don't know about the more extreme ends of the spectrum. Extremely high energies or extremely low energies, or extremely small things or extremely big things. Quantum stuff is crazy. Uh, what any of it means, if it means anything, or, you know, even fundamental questions like, is the universe deterministic, or is it, uh, is it truly random? As, uh, you know, quantum wave function collapse uh, a real phenomenon is it is that deterministic is it random all kinds of things like that that we don't have answers to so you know certainly there are limits to our knowledge there you know what's the deal with unifying quantum theory with general relativity and, and a theory of gravity uh what happens you know in the middle of a black hole you know in the center of a singularity we don't know we may never know because those are very extreme situations where, you know, the the uh, the forces or the scales are so beyond our day-to-day -day experience and comprehension or even ability to test, right? So yeah, there's a lot that we don't understand at those kinds of scales. But like, I feel like the physics of our everyday experience, those kinds of scales, is actually pretty darn well understood. Which is cool. Like, I think that's pretty impressive <laughs> that we figure that stuff out. Because it's not at all intuitive or easy. You know? Sorry. A bit of an aside in the middle of this book. Steel Necklace is down with Elf. They're too cool and sexy to have around. <laughs> yep. The Nords were like, we can't deal with these sexy, sexy elves. Nebsy, I'm glad you're enjoying the book reading. Um, Tech Gadget says awesome horror short film on YouTube called Portrait of God. If you're into that kind of stuff, check it out. Huh. Uh, is it? Yeah, I mean, that sounds fascinating. Um, well, let's read another passage here, and then we'll keep. We'll come back to the chat in a second. Like a sudden, violent snow squall that rends travelers blind and threatens to tear loose the very foundations of the sturdiest hall, the snow prince did sweep into our numbers. Indeed, the ice and snow did begin to swirl and churn itself about the elf, and as called upon to er, as if called upon to serve his bidding, the spinning of that gleaming spear 
whistle the dirge to all those who would stand in the way of the snow prince, and our mightiest fell before him that day. Ulfki and Vilhand, Strom the White, Freyda Oakenwand, Heimdall the Frenzied, all lay dead at the foot of the Mosring Mountains. For the first time that day, it seemed the tide of battle had actually turned. The elves, spurred on by the deeds of the Snow Prince, rallied together for one last charge against our ranks. It was then, in a single instant, that the Battle of the Mosring came to a sudden and unexpected end. Ah, uh, Whitebeard asks, what do you do for a living? I get the vibe, it's something tech related. You give off a feeling of being good with tech. Thank you <laughs> for, uh, for that vote of confidence. Uh, Whitebeard says, I'm a lowly junior in college studying marketing and history. Both very cool. Uh, I'm a, a, a fire researcher. I study forest fires, wildfires, typically what we call it. Uh, and so I study a bunch of different aspects of wildfire. Uh, I've studied how you know frequency uh, and occurrence and impacts of wildfires have changed over time with changing climate through Earth's history. I've studied uh, the impacts of wildfires on natural resources and systems, um, you know, the effects on um, you know, both terrestrial ecosystems and then also uh, downstream ecosystems, um, water, water quality, those sorts of things, soils. Um, and more recently, I've been studying fire behavior. Uh, so uh, that is understanding the relationship between weather and the vegetation and, you know, what fuels fire and then how that leads to uh, the way a fire behaves. So whether you have, you know, a less intense fire that's on the ground or a more intense fire that's up in the crown, up in the canopy, and under what conditions that behavior changes. And we do that because it allows us to better understand uh, when fires might become dangerous and under what conditions we should expect wildfires to start. And the idea is we make computer simulations of wildfires, um, both ignitions and behavior when they do ignite. And that allows us to, or not us, not the researchers, but people who manage firefighting resources to man, you know, better deploy those resources in places where they're gonna be most needed and most effective. So, yeah. The wildfire science is a big and rapidly growing field as fire becomes more prevalent. So that's what I study. But I'm also a big old nerd and I love computers just as a hobbyist. So, yeah. Uh, best of luck with your, your uh, uh, degree there, Whitebeard. Marketing and history sounds very fascinating. Uh, all right, back to the book. Finna, daughter of Joffrior, a lass of only twelve years and squire to her mother, watched as the Snow Prince cut down her only parent. In her rage and sorrow, Finna picked up Joffrior's sword and threw it savagely at her mother's killer. When the elf's gleaming spear stopped its deadly dance, the battlefield fell silent, and all eyes turned to the Snow Prince. No one that day was more surprised than the elf himself at the sight that greeted them all. For upon his great steed, the Snow Prince still sat, the sword of Joffreor buried deeply in his breast. And then he fell, from his horse, from the battle, from life. The Snow Prince lay dead, slain by a child. So this 12-year-old kid just yote his dead mother's sword at this dude and just happened to impale him. Okay, why not? <laughs> With their savior defeated, the spirit of the remaining elven warriors soon shattered. 
many fled, and those that remained on the battlefield were soon cut down by our broad Nord axes. When the day was done, all that remained was the carnage of the battlefield, and from that battlefield came a dim reminder of valor and skill, for the brilliant armor and spear of the Snow Prince still shone. Even in death, this mighty and unknown elf filled us with awe. It is common practice to burn the corpses of our fallen foes. This is as much a necessity as it is custom, for death brings with it disease and dread. Our chieftains wish to cleanse Solstheim of the elven horde, in death as well as life. It was decided, however, that such was not to be the fate of the Snow Prince. One so mighty in war, yet so loved by his kin, deserved better. Even in death, even if an enemy of our people. And so, we brought the body of the Snow Prince, wrapped in fine silks, to a freshly dug barrow. The gleaming armor and spear were presented on a pedestal of honor, and the tomb was arrayed with treasures worthy of royalty. All of the mighty chieftains agreed with this course, that the elf should be so honored. His body would be preserved in the barrow for as long as the earth chose, but would not be offered the protection of our star of Stalrim, which was reserved for the Nord dead alone. So ends this account of the Battle of the Mosring, and the fall of the ma a magnificent elven snow prince. May our gods honor him in death, and may we never meet his kind again in life. Very cool. Ah, that was a that was a fun little lore piece. Now I wonder if we go up to Solstheim, if we can find this barrow. I bet you we can. I bet you we could. Very neat. Yeah, that was a cool one. <laughs> Meanwhile, Carter just slides on in. Oh man, I really hope that my the animations of these guys aren't broken forever. Uh, Marcus, howdy. Oh, tonight I'm drinking this guy right here. Raspberry Mango Sour uh, from Salt Spring Brewing. It's a delightful, refreshing, fruity sour. Really juicy. I wanted something light tonight, so that's what I went with. It's uh, from an island near here. Salt Spring Island. It's good. Uh, Bruce asks, Nick, what's your take on Ulfric? Ulfric Stormcloak? Uh, Bruce's opinion is that he was just a Thalmor pawn. He did everything they wanted him to do. And he was a pretty ruthless, and he was pretty ruthless, as evidenced in the Bear of Markarth. Yeah, I think, I don't know that Ulfric is the savior that Skyrim deserves. <laughs> uh, you know, he's a problematic figure, obviously a blatant racist. You know, is he a Thalmor pawn? He might not be. He might just be a useful fool. It could be that, uh, you know, he's operating of his own accord, but uh, still ultimately uh, serves the Thalmor's ends. Hard to say. It would be kind of fun if there was some kind of official confirmation, or at least in world lore, that suggested that he was, you know, a pawn of the Thalmor, as, as you say, but... Honestly, though, I find both sides of uh, the Civil War in Skyrim to be equally difficult to get behind, so I've never actually played through the Civil War quest line in the game because I don't really want to support either. <laughs> um, Whitebeer says, interesting, I didn't even know that was an occupation. Yes, I am on the west coast of Canada. You've never been near one in Appalachia. Yeah, I... I mean, you know, wildfires can occur anywhere that there's fuel and ignition sources and suitable weather conditions. Um, but certainly in Western North America, uh, we've seen significant increases in area burned 
over the last uh, few decades. Also in boreal Canada, the boreal forest burns quite a lot. Um, less so in uh, you know the eastern United States, but you know fires still do occur there. Um, but yeah, I do most of my study um, in western and northern Canada. Still, like I says, we got so little snow on the prairies this year. The wildfires are going to be so bad. I certainly hope not. But yeah, a lot of a lot of parts of North America are looking at uh, very uh, droughty summers to come. Uh, certainly, here in British Columbia, we're anticipating a a bad fire year. Yo, Mister Sky, welcome. You were here earlier at the very beginning, and now here you are at the very end. <clears throat> Bruce says, my head cannon when I play the dialogue uh, goes like this. Uh, meet your dragonborn. Yes, Ulfric Skyrim deserves to be freed, but not now. Not like this. And not by you. And then I kick his butt. <laughs> totally fair. I think that's a, uh, that's a very uh, reasonable take. Sargon says, I usually go Empire because they end up putting Brunwolf on the throne of Windhelm. He's the dude trying to help out the Dunmer in the city. I mean, it's nice that it's a bit less racist then, I guess. That's fair. That's a solid reason to do it. Uh, Marcus over on YouTube says, I'm on a common German beer of Nord. Simple pills called, I'm not going to pronounce this right, but the Lu... Lubser pills? Lubser pills? You know what? Sometimes it's nice to have just a simple, straightforward beer. I can absolutely get behind that. This weekend, uh, we were celebrating, you know, doing my bachelor party. And um, uh, I wanted to get a, you know, a, a fancy beer to share with uh, the guys, sort of celebratory. So I got this really very delicious uh belgian style tripel um from a brewery over near vancouver called 33 acres and uh it's called euphoria and uh it was really really good it was delicious delicious beer came in a fancy bottle with a cork and everything so we popped that and we all shared some uh but if anyone ever has a chance to try euphoria Belgian Trippel from 33 Acres. Definitely do so. It's really good. Marcus says it's time for you to brew uh, an ASMR nerd brand. <laughs> I've thought about doing like a... There's there's places you can do like you brew beer, basically. You can do it yourself, too. I've never actually really looked into it, but if you have um, like a cellaring space I guess you can do it yourself I don't know maybe sometime maybe one day I'll try it maybe one day I'll try brewing my own beer and see it'd probably be absolute crap compared to whatever you can get from like actual breweries around here but it'd be kind of fun to try um uh, Year to Wears Healies asks, do they have brew dog in the States? I don't know. I'm in Canada, so I'm, but we don't have brew dog here anyway. I assume that's a brewery. They do lovely fruity IPAs. They're a Scottish brand. Oh yeah, very, very popular in the UK. Yeah, I don't think we get them here. I mean, I could go down to a liquor store and check. Usually when I'm looking for beers, I'm mostly looking for local stuff because we have so many amazing local breweries but we do have an international section you know in most liquor stores so we might be able to i might be able to find brew dog there i do love me a juicy ipa so you're kind of selling me on that <laughs> uh no steel neko what's up dog um <laughs> uh, yeah yeah, I'll keep an eye out for Brew Dog. I don't know. Uh, ja Freeman, what's up? <laughs> uh, 
boy. All right, gang. I should really wrap this up. Yeah, it's quite late. I'm extremely tired. I did not get much sleep this weekend. And I've got work in the morning. You know how it goes. Speaking of researching forest fires and all that. So, thanks for being here. Thank you for joining me. It is always such a pleasure and a privilege to be able to come and hang out with you all. Only once a week these days. It's sad. I uh, can't wait till we can get Thursday streams back, but the wedding planning is going well. And uh, hopefully once that's all done, then, uh, you know, we have a little more time to, to stream together here. Uh, I really want to do another Beat Saber stream. It's been a long time. Not ASMR at all, but uh, those are fun streams. I'd like to do one. Maybe sometime soon. We shall see. Um, IDK, what my username is, 1234. Thank you for the follow. Welcome. I uh, appreciate it. Oh, magic card. Shoot. Thank you for the reminder. I totally forgot. Naps, thank you for your patience on that. Yes, I better find uh, another pack before we wrap it up here. Uh, I think I have some fresh packs in the closet. Just give me a second. I do, I think I do. Let's see what I can find here. Oh yeah, got a few here. Uh, okay. Okie dokie. Okay. Oh, what do you know? I totally do have another Lord of the Rings Tales of Middle Earth set booster. I don't know why I thought I didn't. Okay, let's crack that open. Let's crack that open. Yo, bakery guy showing up at the very end here. <laughs> Late but here. This is the very end of the stream, but you've managed to join us for a uh magic gathering random card requested by serene naps naps i hope you're still here hope you're still here for this so yeah the pack is my my final uh tales of middle earth set booster that i have here this is a really fun set i've enjoyed opening these up over the last long while with you all on stream here so Let's see what we can find. Kofi, welcome. How you doing? <laughs> I'm like, it's time to wrap it up. And then suddenly everybody shows up. Also, I'm having so much trouble opening this pack. I'm trying not to be super loud about it, but it's being really stubborn. Come on now. Oh my gosh. What is wrong with me? This is embarrassing. I need my scissors. I don't think I've ever had this much trouble opening an MTG carpet before. It's just not working the way it should. There you go. Okay, so much crinkling. Crinkle crunkle. All right, uh, we will toss out this one, which is just a you know rules reference card, and uh, this one here is an art card. So I'll show that right off the bat, and then I'll shuffle the rest. Uh, I'll take up the land as well. That's really pretty. What is this? This is heroic intervention. So what's being shown here? Art from a Heroic Intervention by Joshua Raphael. That does indeed look like Heroic Intervention. Why'd you get the One Ring? The One Ring was already found like eight ages ago, so if I did, that would be quite the upset. Quite
quite the upset in the uh, this is a land. Ooh, we did get a foil land though. I love the lands in this set. They're all taken straight from the maps and the books. Pretty foil island here. Very nice. And oh hey River Saint Grey, how you doing? Welcome. Good evening, good evening. IDK, what my username is, bro, uh, says, bro, your YouTube vids are peak. I appreciate that very much. Thank you for joining us here. I'm glad you enjoy the YouTube stuff. It's nice you could make it to the stream here. I'm glad you enjoy what I do. Okay, uh, so the rest of the cards here, I'm going to shuffle them. And because this is a set booster, there could be all kinds of fun stuff in here. Uh, there's going to be a few foils. Uh, there could be, I think, anywhere between one and three, or maybe even four, rares or mythic rares. Uh, unlikely to have that many, but it's, it's possible. Um, and generally there's more alternative art and stuff like that, so. Okay, it's pretty well shuffled. Let's take it off the top. Here we go. Ooh, speaking of rares, check it out. A delighted halfling. <laughs> That's kind of cute. She does look quite delighted. A one mana green halfling citizen. Tap to add colorless mana. Or tap to add one mana of any color. Spend this mana only to cast a legendary spell. And that spell can't be countered. Yo, that's actually pretty solid. She's a one two. There were toys the Hobbit children had never seen before, all beautiful, and some obviously magical. That's a pretty cute card. Neat. That's a neat one. Uh, well, we've got one more pack of this to go through, so I will keep those here so that we can... Uh, you know, go through more of them in future uh, streams. Oh, Sarah's still got a bit of that lingering cough. Never really went away after COVID. Uh, where are we at here? Where are we at here? Uh, bakery guy. Thanks again for the resub. Happy 21 months. I don't know if I actually said that, but I appreciate you, bakery guy. I appreciate you being here chilling with us. I'm sorry that you've made it towards the very end here because I will have to wrap this up because I am extremely tired. <laughs> extremely, extremely tired. The same Joey Flowers, I'm afraid. Uh, yes, you showed up just at the end. Um, Bruce says the macro focus of your cam is actually pretty good. Yeah, it's it's a very solid camera. It's the Sony uh, ZV-1, and uh, yeah, it does a pretty darn good job. The autofocus is like generally really solid on it. It tracks pretty pretty well. Uh, it's the one I also use for recording everything that I like all my videos, my keyboard stuff and all that, so it's been a good one. Uh, Steel Neko says, I think all the set boosters have an alt art ring bearer card. Oh, I didn't know that. That's kind of fun. Oh, apparently this card that we just pulled is from the Bilbo's birthday set. The full art versions make a six card picture of Gandalf making dragons. That's awesome. I love that kind of stuff. They do such a cool job with all the art in these. That's really neato. Thanks for her St. Grey. Yeah, she, you know, it's it's been, I mean, we had COVID like way back in September. So it's it's been something that's, you know, just never quite gone away. Um... And, you know, it's certainly better than it was, but it's never quite gone. So she still has this bit of this cough. We really ought to get it checked out. And I keep trying to 
convince her that we need to go to the doctor <laughs> uh, just, to, just to get it checked. You know, maybe there's something going on there that needs to be addressed or could be addressed. But, um, yeah, not happened yet. Uh, <clears throat> pardon me. Uh, Jen says, I really missed this. It was so good to hang out with you guys again. Thank you, Jen. It was so nice having you back. We missed you too. I'm glad that you were able to join us tonight, and I hope we get to see you again really soon. Like I said, I have not been streaming on Thursdays for the last while, but if I will be able to stream on Thursday, I will be announcing it on the Discord. So if you all would like to stay up to date on announcements and whatnot, the Discord is the place to do it. Exclamation mark Discord in the chat. We'll get you there on YouTube or, or on Twitch. Or you can find a link down in the, uh, you know, stream description or whatever on both platforms. So, um, but yeah, that's where I do my announcements and those sorts of things. So just because of all the wedding planning busyness, I've had to postpone the Thursday night streams for now. But maybe this week it'll be a bit less busy. Maybe I'll be able to make it work. We'll see. Who knows? At any rate, I will be back here next Sunday, next Sunday, to hang out with all y'all starting around 9.30 p.m. Pacific time. It would be wonderful to see you again. Uh, before we wrap this up, we have one more thing to do, and that is to find another awesome streamer to raid. Uh, we have so many fantastic... Oops, that's kind of loud. Awkward. <laughs> Sorry. Get old Twitch and it's uh, autoplay uh, when you go to the homepage. Um, yeah, tons of awesome ASMR streamers uh, on this platform. And we will go find some to go, or one, <laughs> we'll go find a streamer uh, to go take all these rad vibes here. Go visit, go chill with. Um, I think we read Amy Pie last stream, didn't we? I think we should go raid Georgie Wen uh, because it's been a while since we visited Georgie and she has some of my favorite ASMR here on Twitch. Super chill vibes. She is awesome. Her ASMR is top notch. Let's go see if she is taking raids right now. Let's see, let's see. Looks like she is. We're gonna go visit Georgie. Uh, like I said, uh, super chill vibes there. Uh, I'm sure you guys will love it. Fantastic tingles. So, uh, if you were in the Twitch chat, just hang out here. You will be coming along for the raid if you just chill in the chat for a tiny bit more. If you're in the YouTube chat and you'd like to come along on the raid, you're going to have to come over to the Twitch chat first. You have about a minute to come join us here, or maybe 30 seconds or something, <laughs> before we head on over. Uh, but either way, I appreciate you, friends. I appreciate you being here so very much. Thank you for uh, making this the awesome place that it is. It really means a lot to me. Uh, Whitebeard, it was a pleasure having you here. <laughs> hey, I'm glad you enjoyed it so much, and I hope that we get to see you again next Sunday. That would be rad. Thanks for chilling with us. Really nice to have you here. Yeah. It can be that way we're saying great getting people you care about to take care of themselves can sometimes be a bit of a challenge good night y'all uh a big big thank you once again to our amazing moderators i could not do this without them they make this place so much better we love the mods thank you mods and i appreciate all of you as well and i will see you 